Oh, no, no, no. Hold on, Gaijin. Yeah, what's up? This is... Fuck... Oh, man, I just ruined the YouTube upload. All right, listen up. <laughs> <laughs> Immediately. Listen just up. Out the listen game. up. Listen Artsy. up. Listen up. Listen up. This is why bamboo is the greatest living thing on planet Earth. All right? One, it is, it is eternal. It will always grow. It will consume everything around it, which makes it a badass, okay? Uh -huh. It is a uh -huh. badass plant. Fuck your Venus fly traps. That shit dies if you sneeze on it. Bamboo, uh -huh. you could punch it 50 times and it does not care. It will continue to grow. Correct. Two, you can eat bamboo. It, it, you, it is edible in many different forms and you can eat it and sustain your body. Three, you can turn it into cups and drink water, which is great. Four, yeah. you can make it into instruments, which is good for the spirit and the soul. Mm. Five, um, what was number five? Oh yeah, you can turn it into weapons. You can turn it into spears and stuff and kill a person with it. It's great. We've been, uh, we've been discussing bamboo for a I long a time before the stream went well. <laughs> Good luck. I have luck. a counter argument. I, Let's I had it. to look it up. Apparently, vinegar can kill bamboo. Yeah, but when's that going to happen, Mark? How often is yeah. that going to happen in the wild? When the bamboo oh, no, uprising the... happens, I will be out in the field armed with like a bandolero of vinegar bottles. I'm ready. Yeah, run but out. that boo, run I, I I guarantee you that bamboo will will outperform and like be bigger than any vinegar you could possibly, unless there's like a vinegar volcano of death. <laughs> Just a You're hose. Screwed. Does vinegar <laughs> even happen naturally? I I don't even know. It does. Yeah. Where? You can make it. Above. That I can. <laughs> you can make it if you if you if you let wine go too long and turns into vinegar. So I so learned that. The only I'm making my wine. <laughs> the only thing that can can stop the world's greatest success, which is bamboo, is the world's greatest failure. So here's the other what? thing too: bamboo can shatter katana blades. Nice. Uh, they they can be consumed by your most hated enemy, a bear, and nothing will happen to it. It just it just comes back out. I've and, and chat. I don't know if you know this. I told it to them. I have a 10-year-old dried bamboo cup that I still use. It's perfectly fine. I can slam it against a steel wall and it will just plink off and just not give a shit. It's so awesome. Bamboo is so fucking cool. Bro, I'm, I am one eye blinking followed by the other right now. <laughs> <laughs> welcome to On the that Bamboo note, Podcast. Yes, welcome to the Bamboo Podcast, colloquially known as the Unexpectables. <laughs> We're here. We're here. We're yeah. back at it, and uh, yeah, we're we're might uh, might initiate boss fight today. Who knows? Uh, but yes, uh, welcome everybody. I suppose we should go down the line and introduce ourselves. Starting with Gaijin, where can they find you? And what are you doing? Oh man, uh, twitch.tv slash Gaijin Goomba, no H because Connor stole it every Tuesday, Saturday, Sunday. I will keep that joke going. Tuesday, Saturday, <laughs> Sunday, 7 p.m. Euro Central Time. Uh, so here's a fun fact. I've never played Halo ever in my entire life. Uh, it it kind of passed me by while I was playing WoW. And uh, I just started playing the very first one of the remake of it where you could switch the, uh, the, uh, the oh, graphics back and forth. And... I'm having a hell of a good time. Like, so many janky things happen in that game that remind me of Half-Life 1, and I'm just, it, it's so good, but bad, and, and it is dated in a couple ways. I, you need to go, you need to go watch uh, the, the VOD of that, especially the, the clips, because, oh my god, it's been comedy gold the entire time. Yeah, so, who's your, who's your favorite character, and why is it Sergeant Johnson? Uh, Sergeant, uh, oh, 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 Monty, ugh, ugh. Have you seen that man in his low poly form? Yeah, of course. Ugh. <laughs> also, why is Cortana so sassy? Like, she's giving me a lot of backs. I, I, I find, I find how Halo works, and and then she's like, "No, shut up, Chief. D do this. Go now. Hurry, hurry your ass up." And I'm like, because "Okay, fine. Princess, Jeez." Because she's Princess Peach's voice actress on Hinge. Uh, uh, she's she's also I mean she's just who we all should be all the time. So we should we should be a a, a, a very a very a voluptuous blue lady who is also an artificial intelligence. Is that what we should be, Mark? And sassy as hell, yes. Bro, oh, okay. that was on the fifth generation console game res. What are you talking about? <laughs> I already lived that life. So anyway, uh please go if if 
I've not had more comical moments than the last two streams. Go watch those VODs. New video is going to be up uh, this weekend, by the way, talking more about Demon Slayer. The last two episodes have given me so much goddamn gold to work with uh, for analysis purposes. If you are a fan of that show, or if you're a fan of Yokai, or a fan of weird Matsuri things, you're going to want to watch that one. It's really, really good. So, um, aside from that, yeah, I got some stuff going on, but I'll talk about it later. Sorry, that was long. <clears throat> Connor. Hey. Connor's dead. Connor, oh, stop being dead. Mark, <laughs> I was muted. Where can they find you? Yeah, where can they find you, Marka? 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 You can find me in the supermarket aisle buying all the vinegar in preparation for <laughs> the bamboo apocalypse. <laughs> Uh, but other than that, you can find me on Twitter.com at Mark Allen Jr. Here on Twitch at Aeon Pro Tech Gaming. And you can follow the adventures of my fat sleepy cat bunny on Instagram at Chonk for Life. Uh, because Zito uh, incepted the idea in my head, uh, this past weekend I played six hours of Pokemon Infinite Fusion. And I don't know <laughs> what happened. I, I took a break at like an hour and a half. And then I blinked and six hours had passed. So... Probably more of that in the future. Um, I also know that uh, I need to get back to Digimon World 2 as well. Uh, so that's probably going to happen in the near future. Uh, also, um, check my Twitter. Uh, anime stuff is happening. I still have a number of really exciting things on the docket uh, for the future. Currently with an indeterminate release date. So... I don't know when I'll get to talk about it, but I've been doing a lot of really exciting things and I cannot wait to share them with you all. Check my Twitter. That's where you'll find it first, unless it happens to like come out in the middle of one of these shows and I'll be like, hey, uh, surprise. That's it for me. Righto. Uh, Zeta, where can they find you and what are you up to? Twitch.tv slash Zito, where I'm slowly regaining my confidence to possibly open up commissions again, because I have a bunch of projects I'd like to do, but that requires capital. Capital in which you can assist by going to my Patreon. Uh, I am doing video game mods very, very soon. I have a team set up. Uh, I am going to be funding the first mod. Uh... It's going to be a mod, a fighting, a character mod for Rivals of Aether. Uh, that's getting funded by me first, and then afterwards, if it continues, that will be a Patreon goal. Uh, beyond that, like I said, artwork's coming back, so I'm getting my, you know, I'm getting the, the heebie-jeebies back about it. Uh, beyond that, I have a bunch of uh, game keys I received over the course of the week. I will be trying to rapid fire spit uh just go at them on friday and then at some point either pokemon infinite fusion will reoccur or if i get hooked on another video game i'll end up playing it for an indeterminate amount of time before it probably gets annoying with everyone on stream right on bosco where can they find you what are you up to you can find me at Ed Bosco via both Instagram and Twitter right here on twitch.tv slash Ed Bosco. Very nice. Very nice to do. And Monty, where can they find you? And what are you up to? Oh my God. You can find me sweating. Um, but you can find me at Monty Glue on Twitter. You can find me at twitch.tv forward slash Monty Glue. And my YouTube is also Monty Glue. Uh, we finished Dragons of Stormwreck Isle. Uh, and I've been playing uh, Resident Evil 4 Remake. I played like the first bit of that with Arkulf. It is really fun i want to play it again but i'm busy this week and i really really want to play more of it so hopefully maybe sunday evening we can play more i'm really hoping god i'm so happy leon jumped out of that window i was like they better kept him just randomly Fuck jumping yeah. out of a window it was so great i also shot a man who was pooping and i feel kind of bad about that there's a lot of really great moments it's a great vod i'm gonna upload it to youtube um so keep your eyes out for that uh and then uh tomorrow should hopefully be more uh dungeon of the mad mage barring any anything else but yeah that's basically it for me L look at my tweets and my discord you'll see what i'm up to Rare. uh 
suppose that just leaves me. They can find me on Twitter, Twitch, and YouTube.com slash Distortion Devil. I stream Tuesdays, Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. Uh, where it's Subquest Mania over a Judgment. Uh, Ed here is helping me through Judgment as well. Uh, I think we're, we're slowly making our way towards being able to move on, but yes. Um, and also, we... We, we lost a dear companion in Deus Ex. Jock exploded uh, due to my negligence. Uh, but uh, maybe we can maybe we can rebuild them faster, stronger, more more grizzled than before. Uh, but yeah, that's happening on Sunday. Uh don't really have much else going on other than uh i'm playing more vr games on stream i'm uh su surprised vr streams cropping up uh we played some sniper elite vr that was a lot of fun uh then we played some motherfucking um until you fall which is a really good game if you have a vr headset i highly recommend until you fall uh funny sword fighting game but yes, uh, that's it for me. This episode was brought to you in part by Die Hard Dice. Die Hard Dice. That's right. Die Hard Dice. Die Hard Dice is your one-stop shop for dice and dice accessories. And if you head on over to dieharddice.com, you can use the code UNEXPECTABLES to save 10% on your order. You can also use that code to purchase some Lies Aspect Dice, the official collaboration between Die Hard Dice and the Unexpectables. Get them now. They're a beautiful porcelain white and navy blue ink. And uh, who else knows what's coming down the pipeline? We'll just have to wait and see. But as well, uh, check out our store. You can buy some merch. Uh, with some various logos that are Unexpectables related, including the Avon's Cup logo, the Sweet Dragon logo, and our latest design. I went to Easton Vale, and all I did was die. Although we're so not going to die, we're going to triumph tonight. Sure, yeah. We got better. Assuming Bamboo Maybe. is not involved. Yes, if the, ki yeah, if, if, if if the king listen. like uses his grafting ability and whips out like a bamboo soldier, we're fucked. <laughs> you guys are best. Bear bamboo! <laughs> 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 Did you say <laughs> bear bamboo? Oh god! <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to derail it because we have we have time. But I saw a bear when I was driving the other day. It was fucking huge. It was so large. He was a like bears on two. They are, no, it was just one. But he was a he was a unit. He was fucking so big. Chonker. Absolute chonker. chonk. He was just eating grass, and I'm like, what the f- Okay, bear. He's You're vibing. cute. Yeah, he was big, though. He's, like, <laughs> literally, like, so large. I, I, And he's, like, a black bear, but he looked, he looked- He was, like, the size of a grizzly bear. He was massive. Like, absolutely huge. Anyway, sorry, continue. He's getting ready for the winter, but someone- Someone played a prank on him. Set the- Set the clock too early. Uh, anyway. Uh, we also couldn't do this every week without your wonderful support through bits and subs from people such as Dr. Quactopus, thank you for the 17 months of Prime, Oz195, thank you for the 34 months, Captain Actually, thank you for the 37 months, Lycus Darkfang, thank you for the 36 months, Mark, Tile M for Mud, thank you for gifting a tier 1 sub to lovely Lorelei, King Kiwi, thank you for the 25 months, gonna head out, just wanted to... Uh, wish the Alton Frontiers crew a happy birthday. Uh, that's right. It is exactly one year from the day we started. I almost completely yeah. forgot about oh, that. Oh, jeez. Happy birthday to uh, I won't be watching live next week either. I have my last final of the spring this Thursday. Good luck and good night. Good luck to you as well. Good luck to everybody who's doing their finals lately. Uh... Umbertastic, thank you for the 32 months. Scooty Daka. Dial M for Mud, thank you for the uh, six months. Bubba Bob, thank you for the uh, 1,400 bits. One year! One year! Uh, Infinite Kitty, thank you for the 36 months. Happy first birthday, Unexpectables 2. You are Babu. 
unmovable walrus. Thank you for the 21 months at tier two. Remember, reset at the sites of Lost Grace before fighting Godric the Grafted. Wait, whoops, wrong game. Uh, Erwin L, thank you for the 33 months. Warfe, thank you for the 37 months. Mark. Disco Tech Priest, thank you for the 33 months. Mikan Pachi, thank you for the 70 bits. Remember, folks, only losers spoil the new Zelda. Those that try will have to face both Gaius and Remy in a Hell in a Cell handicap match. It's a tag team match, player. And, and you know, Nintendo as well. Oh, yes. Uh, they definitely don't want to mess with them. Oh. Uh, Emerald Bandit, thank you for the 32 months. I'm here. I have beer and I have fear. Let's do this. Blue Bear B, thank you for the 123 bits. Got my Unexpectables dice from Die Hard Dice, along with a really cool magnetic metal life counter for magic. Ooh. You give me a set of free dice. Excellent. Yeah, they're awesome. Love Die Hard Dice. Just another clone. Uh, thank you for the 34 months of Prime. Good luck tonight, y'all. Hey, I think I'm a clone now. Lovely Lorelai, thank you for the 100 bits. Bamboo is just a fun word to say in general, so another win there. Hey. What did I say earlier? Boom, Boomba or whatever? What did I say? Boomba? Yeah. Oh. Boomba? <clears throat> I don't even I have, remember. I have a new persona now. Oh, Gaijin no. Oh, shit. Brand. That is how you will remain Gaijin eternal Boomba. forever. Oh. This is Gaijin your, like, demolitions Boomba. expert There's, arc. No, here's the thing. There's actually a bamboo yokai that exists. Of course, of course there is. <laughs> it's a thousand years old and it murders. Damn. Just like bamboo. You just described like 90% of yokai. Uh, <laughs> Lunar the Dragon, thank you for the two years of seven, two years for this campaign, uh, and one for this campaign. Kick undead butt. All of a bingo, thank you for the 30 months. 30 months? That's right. Vina Norbius, thank you for the 100 bits. Happy early birthday, Unexpectables 2. It's not early. It is our birthday. Uh, Adam CW, thank you for the 32 months. The Holy Carp, thank you for the 21 months. Blue Bear B, thank you for the 100 bits. Best of luck doing a murder in your future home. <laughs> Uh, 50 bits from Pixel Belladonna. Take my bits from my super sore throat. Might have to catch the VODs. Ooh, get better soon. One sweet girl, thank you for the 18 months. I've been instructed by Die Hard Dice to tell y'all hi. Hello. Well, hi. Hello. Wonder if that's Jesse or Todd or Chad. It better, it better not be Chad. <laughs> Chad is an enabler. I'm, I have struggled Chad. Chad. <laughs> Demon Chicken of Doom, thank you for the 23 months of Prime Savage. King Shinrock, thank you for the 24 months. Following you guys after a while. Uh, Finale got the nerve, uh, finally got the nerve to DM Dragonlance for my D forever DM. Ooh. Ooh. I just want to point out my, my rib on Chad is not legitimate. Chad is doing a good <laughs> job. I just want to say you need to stop telling people that the dice look delicious. That's all I'm saying. Sorry. We can either confirm or deny this, this beef. RC Wheeler, thank you for the 36 months. Bunch of numbers, thank you for the 37 months. I've been here for 37 months, and you're not getting rid of me anytime soon. Don't worry. Uh, Bubba Bob, thank you for the 500 bits. My mom made me a painting with my two favorite Pokemon, Gengar and Tikatan. She also put in a slow bro saying whenever she saw me, she saw one, she thought of me. My mom is great. What? Little baby slow bro. Uh, no, my no, chemical you're, you're necromance, thank you for the 200 bits. It's time for regicide. Uh, Cuban Dragon, thank you for the 33 months of Prime. Real Meta, thank you for the 10,000 bits. Wow. Christ. I think that's, is that 10,000? How many zeros are in it? Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Then, yeah, five yeah. zeros? Hang there's on. five zeros, that's a hundred thousand. One, two, three, four. There are four. Okay, okay. ten thousand. It, it's <laughs> optical illusion. Ten thousand bits from real meta. I'm here. Also, Gaijin, I watched your Japanese gun video. I gotta say, I will now use this as a basis for how I do guns in fantasy settings. Oh, let's go. Very interesting stuff. 
Char Avner, thank you for the 27 months. Uh, Henry Skelleman, thank you for the 12 months of Prime. Good luck, everyone. We're all counting on you. Callum Draws, thank you for the 50 bits. Hard to believe it's been a year since this wonderful campaign started. Now, let's see if y'all can end this Lich King's whole business. Uh, Z-Man Stardust, thank you for the 100 bits. Good luck with tonight. I'm still catching up. Skalfar, thank you for the 37 months. Uh, Alf Derid, thank you for the 100 bits. Just got my sweet dragon shirt and mug this weekend, as well as Lies Aspect Dice. Unfortunately, the D4 arrived with a chip in it, but the lovely people at Die Hard Dice have already sent me a replacement set. Oh, nice. Oh, there yeah. you go. They're pretty good about that. The Demo Worm, thank you for the 500 bits. Hey, yo. Uh, fun culture shock for y'all. I've recently come to discover... Uh, the, the Creepy Hands Deer in that one Adventure Time episode was a Chinese mythical creature cataloged in the Shanghai Jin classics of mountain and seas called the Yingru. Sick. Hmm. Gross. Interesting stuff. <laughs> the duality of man. Sick. Gross. <laughs> <laughs> uh, bunch of numbers. Thank you for gifting a, a tier one sub to ride the rails. Demon Chicken of Doom. Thank you for the 100 bits. Progress report, I'm currently on episode 68 of the Unexpectables uh, Nat 1 and Nat 20 list. Soon we shall know who failed the most and who succeeded the most. Uh, also, labeling the funniest versus more ho most horrifying Nat 1. Excellent. Uh, Tix Dixel, thank you for the 200 bits. Hey, gang, tonight's my first live stream as a graduate. Hey, congratulations. Hey, yeah. Congratulations. I just turned in my last final of my MA linguistics degree. I just wanted to say thank you for your streams as you've helped me get through so many hours of work and research and made everything a little bit less painful and daunting. Ooh. Well, congratulations. You you did that all, all on your own. Now you speak English just... good. <laughs> um, pushes up linguist glasses. <laughs> Fail English, oh, impossible. Linguistics isn't about speaking languages. It's about I know. I'm being a dumbass on purpose, Mark. <laughs> That's the joke, Mark. It's a frog. You That's just why I did like it in a dumb voice and moved it. away from microphone, Monty. It's my I like how bit. He just, he just got up and walked away, mumbling. <laughs> <laughs> just my bit. Continue, Connor. You have uh, seven minutes left. Uh, Dusk Ninja Kenji, thank you for the 100 bits. Hey, guys, you're cool. Uh, yes, even you, Bosco. Don't die easy tonight. Bunch of numbers. Thank you for gifting a tier one sub to Blasterblade96. Brawl Cut. Wait, no. Uh, Haunter980. Thank you for the 16 months. Just a day before a year for the second campaign. Let's go. Uh, also, obligated part of the ship, part of the crew. Cool. Oh. Uh, Brawl Kaiser. Thank you for the 100 bits. Got a plate of Cajun food from a fancy Cajun place. Uh, because I'm excited for tonight. Also, to satiate Zito's love of indie games, I feel compelled to tell you about the Deathwish Enforcers, which is like Sunset Riders, but themed after 70s cop films, and you fight demons. Mm. I will have to take a look-see at this funny trailer. Mika Ampachi, thank you for the 95 bits. Don't know which is more horrifying, the King of Eastonvale being Mr. X or Mr. Sir from Pokemon Infinite Fusion. Spoilers. <laughs> yeah, you kind of spoiled it for Mark a little bit. Oh, no. Uh, uh, Joral, thank you for the 95 Jesus, bits. Right. Uh, recently finished. How's that Sorry. spelled, if that's the whole name? It's Just it's curious. exactly how it sounds, Mr. Oh, okay. Sir. No, not that. Uh, what? Oh. <laughs> Never mind. Continue. <laughs> Joral B, thank you for the 95 bits. Recently finished binging all of the Unexpectables 1 and 2, and finally... Uh, got to watch live. Hey, well, welcome. Rippington, thank you for the 80 bits. Potential episode title, Long Live the King. Ooh. Hey, so uh, I, just, I just saw that Death Wish Enforcers trailer. Uh, my brother in Christ, did you just try to get me TOS? Because there's booba everywhere in this game. Oh. Booby? No, hang there's, on. There, there is booba everywhere. Bam well, boobas? Well, now I'm watching the trailer. God, Bamboo is the best <laughs> living thing ever. Bamboo. <laughs> oh, my God. Bamboo. Uh, Prophet Z, 
247, thank you for the three months. Finally able to catch a stream. Just had to be sick to do it. Hey, there you go. Oh. Renfield88, thank you for the 37 months. The Dang Master, thank you for the 18 months. Glad I could watch live on one of the rare occasions work permits it. Uh, Defang Shadow, thank you for the 20 months. Time to take down Necromorph Isaac. Uh, also, let me know when I got five minutes left, Monty. Uh, you have four uh, minutes left right now. Okay. <laughs> Uh, Ghost of Corporal Jenkins, thank you for the 100 bits. Hound of Twitch, thank you for the 200 bits. Skittery Boo, thank you for the 19 months. Corin Solus, thank you for the 29 bits. Cheshire Joker, thank you for the 37 <laughs> months. Uh, yes, the Atom Bomb, thank you for the 100 bits. Made Hercules, thank you for the five months. Zombie Master 01, thank you for the 100 bits. The Real Getsu Hero, thank you for the 30 months. Solora Shadow, thank you for the 25 bits. Vonavon, thank you for the 35 months. Soothseer, thank you for the... Uh-oh. 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 Uh-oh? Where'd the thing go? Where'd everything go? There it is. Uh, the Dang Master, thank you for getting a tier one sub to zero, Tautsuki. Lugan, uh, the, the Logan Mogan, thank you for the one or the 500 bits dip bipples thank you for the 100 bits raw sodium thank you for the 100 bits saint jimmy thank you for gifting a tier one sub to zan rising hound of twitch thank you for the 21 months saint jimmy thank you for the 1000 bits zen leader thank you for the 100 bits skittery boo thank you for the 200 bits jet knight gaming thank you for the 1000 bits chief 35 thank you for the 1000 bits kuro okami thank you for the 31 months white fang thank you for the 100 bits rev j thank you for the 100 bits king knight owl thank you for the 100 bits Lost May the Robot, thank you for the 200 bits. Skyrim Luigi, thank you for the 12 months. Friendship Optional, thank you for the 35 months. Sirius Einsel, thank you for the 10 bits. Bubba Bob, thank you for the 100 bits. Irish Katana, thank you for the 500 bits. McLovin, thank you for the 20 months. Irish Katana, thank you for getting a tier one sub to Orion. 1887. Black Belt Gamer, thank you for the 95 bits. Irish Katana, thank you for the 32 months. Mr. Nani, thank you for getting a tier one sub to I Love Game. Uh, 1,000 bits from Turian Batman. Crit Scratch, thank you for the 31 months. Sylvester the Black Cat Bard, thank you for the uh, sub. Dip and Bipples, thank you for the 100 bits. Retro Royal Knight, thank you for getting a tier one sub to Louis Young. Retro Royal Knight, thank you for the 35 months. Disco Tech Priest, thank you for the 100 bits. Soothseer, thank you for the 1,000 bits. Like to Booyah, thank you for getting a tier one sub to Tix Dixel. Veen and Norbius, thank you for getting a tier one sub to Padawan Yondu. Peter Piper with the portable pen, thank you for the 21 months. Marrow 29, thank you for the 1,000 bits. Mr. Nani, thank you for the 34 months of Prime. And Blackfoot Ferret, thank you for the 42 months. Rap God. Alrighty. Good job, Rap God. <laughs> with that, let us delve into the unexpectables. When last we left our adventures, Otho Valentinius, Kai Valentinius, Milo Brightbeam, Gaius Agni, and Iskan Seatlolly 
The party is lost in the darkened halls of Eastonvale Keep, searching for potion ingredients scattered within the castle, whilst also avoiding the tangled and twisted accursed form of the king roaming the halls. Now, after finding the final ingredient sequestered inside of the royal vault, the party must plan a cautious path back to a location where they can synthesize this divine potion and hopefully end the tyrannical rule of King Isaac Eastonvale once and for all. Alrighty. So, as all of you kind of stumble out of the vault, a little bit frightened after the bloodied message on the wall that was scrawled in front of you, a, a lit up by lantern light, as the door threw itself open by force and you turn back to see the message gone, you all make your way out back into the throne room. Oh, that was awful. Well, we've got everything we need, right? I think so. Let's go down the list and make sure. All right. Well, we just got the unicorn horn. Uh, so we too. already have the holy water, right? That's right. We got the scale, and we've got a way to get the foilins. Fillins. Do we have a way to boil that scale? We could use the uh, alchemy lab right next to the uh, that secret passageway. So that's actually really convenient. We could just scoot our way back there if uh, he shows up again. And also try and not get caught. I think he broke down the door the last time he went through. That is correct. Yes, we'll... We might have to improvise a way to dampen the sound if we can. I think I might have an idea for that. Well, by all means, let's hear it. Well... If we go to do all that, that foiling down, right? With the mithril? So if we go into the inner, inner chamber, you know how there's there's the Hulket statue, and then past that, where you have to, to pull on that... Uh, I keep thinking it's a... Not a sconce, funny. What was it? Uh, sensor. Thank you. It's a sensor, yeah. There's That's what it was like, basically, yeah. the secret doors. You pull the sensors. If we get to that place and do it there, the likelihood of him being able to hit us would be really really small because it's so insulated with with the the walls and the passages and everything if i remember correctly that uh simple spell that uh kai showed me before i should be able to start a fire so maybe we don't need a like a burning thing from the alchemy lab we could just do it in there i also have this shows the bucket Well, everything should be there that we need, but we better get going. And looks around. Who wants to lead the way? I think Who wants you to be first down the stairs. I that? think you, Mister no! Twenty Passive Perception. <laughs> I can hear. I can't dodge. Brother. All right. Let me. Oh, okay. All right, what is our march? Time order? to go, boys. Oh, oh you they moved. Just, just... Why are you moving in there? Bosco. <laughs> Bosco, <laughs> please. Just oh, he's wall, he's wall hacking. Map. Look, man, I know how this works. If we, I I told you before I was going to do the throne hack. Stop we just saw we just see Kai go. Kitty yeah, pride. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. <laughs> Actually, oh. Zero, do you want to take my spot? Also, Iskan, you, you get behind me. Wait, I'm going to listen down the stairs before we go. Just to make sure, because this is the only way we found to get up here, right? Uh, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. So just to make sure that the the coast is clear, I want to have a, a listen and peek down the stairs before we go. You got it. Perception, <laughs> mon ami. Uh, 16. 16. As you all turn to go down the staircase, Eastgan, you kind of listen and you hear, Oh, 
thank God the coast is clear. Let's go, guys. Shut up. <laughs> am I am I able to tell like how far away that is? Uh, it's getting close. If we were gonna go, we gotta go now, and we gotta book it. Well, wait. Why would we just go around the side? Like how we got in here? Isn't this how we got in here? Uh, no, we um. I could have sworn we. Oh. No, wait. we had to go down a staircase. Okay, yeah, I was about to say, didn't we, didn't we get from the roof? Okay, no, never mind. Sorry. We have I'll to go quiet. down to the bottom floor and then go up to the second floor, but not the roof. All right. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So literally, as soon as we go down these stairs, we're making a right, but just, and we're going uh, up. Uh, yeah. Well, depending on which location we hear him fucking breathing, we want to go the opposite <laughs> direction. Correct. Well, if, if I could just glitch through the wall, I'll let you know. <laughs> right. Course. All right, so you guys are heading down the stairs? Uh -huh. Yeah, we'll hack through the yeah, wall. Oh, yeah. Here we go. All righty. <laughs> one second. Jesus, what was that noise? That was Bosco being wall. taken out by the bamboo warriors. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> you wouldn't make a sound. You wouldn't even know you got hit. <laughs> <laughs> Just ninja bamboo. Takes you out before you know it. I can't yeah, believe can bamboo throw a bamboozled. Got him. Go ahead and move your characters where they were in order. Nice. I was up the order. Be. Be. <laughs> Be formation. Get off of me. <laughs> you don't know me like that. Be scan. Do you have dark vision? I do not. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Gaijin, uh, or, uh, uh, <laughs> Gaius <laughs> was. If only Milo did. Gaius was in the front, so. I was in the front. So. Change places. Right. Everyone, Why is everyone getting on top of me? Go away! The safety lizard. Safety lizard. Uh, Gaius, as you turn the corner in like a speedy pace, you see trudging towards your direction. <gasps> seemingly following the noise of the oh. vault door, which slammed and opened. Go left, oh. go left, go left, go left, go left, go left, go left. Go left. We are running now. We're going yeah. left. We are running. All right. Oh, I would so like we everyone have, we have to roll a, initiative. Wait, we have a surprise please. round, though. Wait, but we have a surprise. He hasn't no, seen us yet. No, we don't. There's no surprise rounds in 5th edition. Yes, there is. Fuck off. <laughs> there are. <laughs> lots of also, those. <laughs> he's very aware of where you are, so you do not get a surprise round. Uh, so, yes, this is an initiative roll as Fucking he is making damn. chase. Yo, 18! Ooh. Natural 20! Nice. Three. Two. Oh, it's a 16. 20 ring. Thanks, Roll 20. The initiative curse rides on. Oof. You're not the only one cursed. Um, it's that fighter Yeah, look initiative. at him. He's got bodies in his body. Uh, <laughs> Yo, dog. Can... Somebody, somebody. Oh. So, Iskan, you, because you got a natural 20, you automatically go first. Okay. Uh, and then we have Otho. <laughs> I can't see. And then we have... Oh, Jesus, Milo. I'm gonna do oh, but you thing. can hear. You know he's there. No, I know. Uh, Milo, and then we have Kai. We still had that... No, scroll! And then we have... Guys. This is an important question for anyone who may remember... When he got hit, did he recoil in pain at all, or he just kind of tank no, it? No, no, we, we just, just felt it. it. We took the we took, we took the damage. Okay, okay. We need yeah. to down oh, this potion before we can harm him. Please don't hit him. No, no, yeah. no. Okay, okay, okay. Stop, stop. That's not what I was planning on doing. <laughs> um, no, if you recall, when you hit him, um, all of you took the right. split damage, and you also lo lost that as a hit point maximum as well. So I'm, it I'm literally just... stole your life. I'm 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 trying to think of nonviolent deterrence. That's all. Well, I mean, if he takes damage from things that aren't from us, what's the what's gonna happen? Like the wall that fell on him before is gonna take maximum HP damage. <laughs> what if it did? Get fucked, wall. <laughs> yeah. Alrighty, top of the turn our E scan. It is your go with a natural twenty. Time to do yeah, the thing. it's uh it's time to freak run. I think I got that right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That's it. I'm dashing. 
Sorry, chat, you're probably not going to see where people are going, but Eastgan is running to the left very quickly. Yeet! All right, Otho, it is now your turn. Uh, fucking leaving. Uh... Yes, I will, um... Make sure to include walls. You cannot go through walls. You always have to calculate around walls. Yeah. 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 Whoa. Uh... There's a moose in here. You have dark vision, correct? I do. Man, I don't like Resident Evil anymore. <laughs> never uh, you see beginning. up ahead the path turns north, and then there's also the spiral staircase. Is that yes. end your turn, Otho? Uh, that was my action to dash. I can bonus action dash as well to get another 30. Yep. Uh, and I will. You got it. Which I have. Right. That ends your turn? Uh, yes. All right, Milo, it is now your turn. As you see E-Scan and Otho run. Well, yeah. Uh, ooh, 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 ooh. Ka-choo. Okay, that's all I got. All righty, that brings us to Kai. It is now your turn. Gonna double move. Turn. You got it. It is now the king's turn. Cool. Woo, well, I'm safe later, behind guys. the tank. All right. Sorry, what? Exactly. what? I said I'm safe behind the tank. You have a tank? Aren't you the bard? Why aren't you in the tank? Uh, you're the tank. I'm in you. <laughs> Wait. Now I'm in you. <laughs> now! Get out. <laughs> All right. The king <laughs> went on the walls, like crawls up on the walls and just begins running down with a dash. Oh. Immediately screaming, Karen! and just starts running after you on the walls. Hi, Carolyn. I'm Gaius. All righty, that ends the king's turn. That brings us to Gaius. It is now your turn. Time to yeah, run. Yeah. yeah, dash. You got it. <laughs> I, 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 I want to <laughs> add some more to that, too. You got it. Go for it. Okay, I get to there. I'm going to roll a 1d8. Jump. Hey, Leap. nice. Everybody jump. Jump. Woo! Woo! <laughs> Alrighty. At the yeah. end, uh, does that end your turn, Gaius? Yeah. All right. At the end of the king's turn, or your turn, the king is going to take a legendary action. Is it oh. to go the other direction? No, it is to manifest a bow as he manifests Archer, and a bunch of those arms begin to spawn out of his back, and a oh. bow along with it, and points an arrow towards you, Eastgan. He's going to fire a shot. Don't. Oh, don't worry, you're the tank. You got this. You got the tank. He's in range? Tank, tank, tank. tank oh, tank, yeah. Tank, tank. Damn. It's a longbow. It's a longbow. Longbow's Damn got it. fucking uh, range. Guys, where, where is Eastgan? I can't see him on my map. Am I on top of him? No. No. I'm no, like he's three. Right uh, right. It's that it's that roll 20 problem again where sometimes the map doesn't match up with what oh. some people are seeing. Okay, I'll refresh. refresh. I'll refresh. Yeah. Uh, that is going to be a soft 20 to hit you, though, Eastgan. <laughs> yeah. All right, um. you take... <sighs> Ooh, not great damage, but that's probably for the best. Uh, you take seven points of... Oh, my God. Oh, sorry, not seven points. Sorry, apologies. You take six points of piercing damage <laughs> as the arrow <laughs> strikes you in the back as you are running. Yeah, thanks, Monty, that, that extra point. 16. <laughs> that sorry. Ends a lot. That ends the king's legendary action. I can't hear the music. God damn it. Well, yeah. Why? That's weird. Yeah. We hear it fine. Yeah, it doesn't loop it sometimes. Sorry, give it two seconds, you guys. We got you guys. Thank you for the heads up. Sorry, someone, guys, in, I, someone in I, the I, YouTube <clears throat> someone in the YouTube said they have so much trouble with the uh, roll 20. They should use Foundry. <laughs> oh, I see we have comedians in the Objectively I, worse. Uh, I wouldn't I, I would get in trouble, but this is where I would play a laugh track. Yeah. Sorry, give me a second. I have to literally like close and reopen the window. I don't. I feel like it's not exactly a roll twenty issue. It might just be like a computer issue. I'm not sure. Reload, Thanks, big foundry. Also, sorry everybody. I can't be an adventurer anymore. I just took an arrow to the knee. So. 
You took an arrow to the back. You're still an adventurer. Oh, great. <laughs> no. You're just on your way to becoming a corpse. And Thanks, patrol. God. <laughs> All right, music. Glad going. to be here. Should we get to go? Thank you. Let's, Let's have a little listen here. Uh, yeah, All we're right. good. We're back. All right. Uh, hey. That ends the king's legendary action. Star the turner, Eskin. You are reeling from the arrow shot, but it is now your turn. <laughs> Run. That sucked. <laughs> well. Just double checking something. Yeah, okay. Uh, we're just going to double move once more. Remember, it's about 25 feet to go up the stairs and make it to the next floor. Well, lucky for me, I can only get that far. All right. Eastcan, does that end your turn? That'll be it, as the rest of the party will see Eastcan come running past y'all with an arrow in his back. All righty, Oko, <laughs> it is now your turn. I'm going to leave. You got it. That's 25 to the stairwell, and then sprinting up the stairs is going to be... Uh, Ooh, it's 90 minus 25. Uh, 90 minus 25 would be 65 remaining. Yep, that's how much left I got. All right, you have 65 feet, so just put yourself on the stair token, and we'll we'll resolve that once we get back to your turn. I'm on the uh, stair token. All righty, that brings us to Milo. It is now your turn. I have a silly idea. <sighs> Part of me want... Okay, 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 so hear me out. Um, I was wondering, if, up, we, if we split up, he'd have to try... You read he my mind try. already, except he'd I only was just going to do it. Yeah, <laughs> I was about to idea. say. Is it, though? It's because terrible idea. I'm all for it. We all have to drink the potion. I know that, but we have... I mean, there's, there's, stair, there's, there's staircase up to the north, right? So hear me, so hear me out. So no, up to the broken. north, it's going to be broken. It's okay. broken to the north, so we have to go all the way around. I'm with you. I just don't want you to go alone, but distracting him so the other three can get in there and at least file stuff down. By the time we get up there, we can maybe all get in the secret room. But we've outrun him before collectively as a group. We had to destroy the stairs to do it. Correct. We've never had him chase us when he's this close. The last time we had a running start to get in the room before he could stop us. And we do right now as well. Uh, I don't think we have enough of a head start. Honestly. Gaius is the last yeah. person in the order, and he's 105 feet in front of the king. And he's going to encroach on me at seven. He's going to encroach 60. on me at 60, not including if he has some magical fucking MacGuffin legendary action that we're not aware of. He's You've also taking him... pot shots at us. You have seen him dash as part of one of these manifestations. Yes. So if if we split, that. we at least make him make a decision. I'm never a fan of splitting the party. Ever, I'm not either, ever, but ever. I like excitement and adventure. So let's fucking split it. I'm with Gaijin. How are you feeling, Zito? I, I'm the guy who takes the who can take the most damage. So I feel like me and Milo would probably be in better shape to do the split up than Kai and Milo. Yeah, but that's not fun. I it just would wanna... make more sense to Ka for Kai to come with us to the room anyway, because he can Brother. help her with, like, <laughs> all the other stuff that we need to gather and whatever. I just didn't want to do anything rash the other that, would, thing, that would... Yeah? The other thing, too, who has what components in their inventory? Yeah, I got the mithril, so if you follow... <clears throat> Kai doesn't have shit. I don't have anything. Unfortunately, I got the fucking I got the one thing that needs time to be made into the fucking potion. Could you I mean pass if you it can off and give then head that north? to somebody? Yeah, that's probably gonna take up an action. That's an action, yeah, to hand something off. So the, off the three of else. you all have the stuff, so just go. No, Gaius has one of the components. Yes, that's what Otho I mean. Has go. two, and Eskin has one. I didn't want to make this complicated. I just thought it would be good strategy because we can't hurt him when we can't slow him down. I but am we... willing to facilitate. If you guys split, this will also be a nightmare for me to DM, but I'm okay with doing that if that is a choice you want to make. No, I don't want to do that to you. So I'll All just right. go ahead and run. If it's a nightmare for you, we'll just go. It's fine. Well, it's just yeah. there's two, two split it, that'll split two levels. It'll be like half the cast will be on one level and the other half will be on a different level. And I have to move the camera around a fuck ton. Okay. So 
Okay, then I'll True. just move. Um, I'm si Could I, money? Can I go there technically? Uh, technically, it's it's this direction to go up because the lowest thing is right there. Oh, yeah. my bad, my bad, my bad. Okay, I wasn't sure. <laughs> All right, hang on, let me make double sure. Yeah, I okay, wish so I had an unprepared oh. entangle. I am totally <laughs> fine. Oh yeah, entangle would've been good. I, I I'm totally doubt. fine with doing that if that is your choice. But just a heads up, it's just for the chat. Chat needs to be patient with me. If no, it's 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 it's, it's fine. It will be also, okay. Also, I'm now kicking myself in the fucking ass because I just realized something that could have made this a lot easier for us, but they can't What's do that? it now. Remember the one way passage. It's the other way though. It's the other way. Yeah, but the throne room was the way through the other way. If you oh, think about it, in space. Oh yeah. Yeah, if we went, if we went, we north could from have the completely room. fucking not have to deal with this. We mm -hmm. could have tried to find it. I don't know if we would have had the time though, because look at how close Fair he enough. was. Fair That's enough. That's true. Whatever. And if we get stuck it, in there with him, honestly, it, at least now we're in the open. Yeah, yeah. it should have could have water moment. Don't worry about it. That's okay, why I'm my, like, oh, kicking myself in the ass. My turn's right. up. Kai, it is now your turn. Uh, I really wanted to run. All right. I'll we are here. running. I got one more turn to figure out if I want to split off. That's turn. That's a double. All right, move. that brings us to the king's turn. The king. <clears throat> just gallops on the walls, jumping and landing on the ground, and continues <laughs> just like moving like a spider towards you in rapid motion. Uh, oh, Zeta's quiet. I'll turn him up. I, I had a feeling, Zeta, you sound a little far away from your microphone. I'm, I'm, if I move any closer it to it, fine I, will to be, me. I will be yeah. fucking sniffing it. Yeah. It's fine I'll to me. I'll here, Chad, if it's bad, just let me know. Okay. I got him at 200, microphone. but at 200, he's perfect. It, mm -hmm. I might have, I might have also, like, when I said something before, I might have been stretching my back and moving my mouth. Everyone like says he sounds fine, so it was probably just from before. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. Uh, that yeah. ends the king's turn. Gaius, it is now your turn. Let's go. Uh, if I, where Otho is, I would be able to go up the stairs by 20. You got it. So you're up 20, so that means yep. you're five feet away from the second floor. Noted. Yep, that's turn. Alrighty. Start of the turn order. East Wait, no, 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 that's not turn. Fucking Mithril Leap. Uh, yeah, Mithril Leap. Mithril Leap. Mithril Leap, might as well. Might as well. Mithril Leap. Yeah, Mithril Leap. Mithril Leap. <laughs> mithril leap. <laughs> I mean, you have the Mithril. Hey! hey! I am now up the stairs. I am on you the second at, floor, baby. You are at zero feet now. All right, Eastcan, it is now your turn. It will take me 10 feet to get to the base of the stairs. It's 30 up, you said? 25 up. 25 up. Okay, so 10 yeah. to get to the stairs. To the top of the stairs gives me 35. So I'm at the top with 25 feet of movement left. You got it, 25 feet. All also, right. really We're quick, boss. Bosco, um, if we wanted to try and do yeah. a split diversion and not have it be a nightmare for Monty to do multiple levels, we could split off when we get up the staircase. That's true. Yeah, Sorry, that's I just want to throw that in there. That's fair. That's actually super that's, fair. Honestly, that's true, yeah. That is more doable, honestly, yeah, yeah, yeah. than, than let's splitting go, so between let's go up two a level. loaded maps. Yeah, let's go up roll a level 20, and then... Roll20 is going to choke and die loading two massive maps back and forth constantly. So what we what we could do is, since we can access the the room from both the east and west side, we could just split off there and reconverge in the middle in the in the safe room. Quote unquote. But the, the potentially safe room. We see Alrighty, typewriter. Also, it is now your turn. Yeah. I'm going to have you hold your action because you're on the second floor. Are you okay with that Herc. once we resolve yep. everybody else? Cool. All right, Milo, it is now your turn. Okay, so... Uh, 25, so I'll dash. I'll have the 35 remaining. Okay. That brings us to Kai. It is now your turn. I will also dash, and I will have 35 at the top. You got it. That puts everybody at the top of the floor, so I'm going to take you and put you there. Yay! You don't want you don't want. Yeah, we all like you. Also, what are the <laughs> chances you can break the staircase again? <laughs> Yeah, just use two more third level spells. Yeah, you know it's fine. Ugh. You know, like you do. Making sure everything is nice and. Also, who the mm. fuck has a third level spell at level fucking three? Right. I do. No, I don't. Must be nice. All right. Can I get your hacks, please? Rogues don't use spells. You have your hacks. You're already phasing through the walls. Rogues don't use spells. I am phasing through the walls. None of that happens. <laughs> 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 
Man, imagine having spells, says the guy who has con constitution casting. Listen, um, you got rune spells. With this, oh, so your held action will go off because you, were... <laughs> you also run. can move an additional 65 feet on your turn because you had 65 feet remaining. Oh, boy. You can go wherever you want. You can go wherever you like. Well, if I if I'm holding yeah. my action to dash, and then I'm getting another sixty five feet, that's like well, a... you can move your you move you can move your sixty five first because that's what you basically had done before, and then your held action goes off for whatever you wish to do. Preow. Huh. Uh. See, uh, I don't know. Oh, sorry. Yeah. I'll, I'll call out behind me, Mr. Brightbeam, do you still have that mechanical bird on you? I never took it. Who has ha, the bird? Ah! <laughs> I don't think anybody bird. took it. I think no one they left it. it behind. No one took it, yeah. we left it behind. Oh, for fuck's sake. It's still sick. there, though. <laughs> you wanna go back and get it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I can just go back down, it's no big deal. Yeah, no. Sorry, <laughs> Isaac, buddy. We need to get down there. <laughs> Uh, it was in this room, if you recall. Never mind. My plans have all collapsed. Well, good thing you're not the man with the plan. I'm the man no, with the plan. No, he's the man with the power. Come on, Brian Kendrick. You got this. And I suppose I will shoot down another 60 feet. You got it. You mean Remember shoot. Here. <laughs> there it is. Wide open. There she blows. There's no door. And no windows, which leaves you with one shilling option. All right, that was Otho's held Move action. to the which, Shrine of the Silver Monkey. Which brings us to the king. Do we get one. our movement uh, Do we get our movement before that? Uh, yes, yeah, you we do, have actually. Of ours. Okay, you have your we had over... leftover. We'll do it in order. So, East Gen, you have 25 feet. The king... I did it. ...has returned. All right. Eastkin's movement is done. Milo, you have 35 feet. That'll work. Yeah, we're, the door's right here. I don't know if going all the way around would even matter at this point. All we can right. just get in the room from here. We might make it. Kai, you have 35 feet. Cool, I can get right to the corner. Whee! And unfortunately, Gaius, you only had zero feet, so you don't get to move until your turn. Okay. But it is now the king's turn. Doo doo. Uh, dee dee. Da da doo. Da da run. Time to go fast, 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 fast. You don't hear him on the stairs, Gaius, as you kind of rush up ahead, but you do hear screaming from down below. Doesn't sound oh. like he's hit the, doesn't sound like he's hit the stairs. Oh gross. <laughs> Ooh, we might get lucky. Uh but it is now your turn, Gaius. Sick. Run, friendo. Just above Brando. game for me. The the plan is shave the fillings and then brew it in the secret area, right? It's filings, y'all. That's what I said. The There's fillings. One L the, in the mithril fillings. Yeah. The king needs new teeth. That is <laughs> the emperor's new teeth. <laughs> yes. All right. Enchanted Ooh. fillings. You just can't see his teeth. East and Milo. Fillings. Dude, they don't pro they don't they uh -oh. don't provoke disadvantage on stealth checks. Yes. What's up, Monty? I'm gonna get shot. You with hear a hair. wrenching sound of metal squeezing up uh, the staircase shaft as he uses his uh, manifest servants, oh. and you can now hear him moving up the stairs. Oh boy! <laughs> no uh, thanks. What? We're in danger. Fuck this shit! I'm out. He's still on the bottom floor, but you hear like a wrenching metal no sound thanks. as he is beginning to make his way up. That brings us to Eastcan. It is now your turn. <laughs> Teehee. Goodbye. Bop, 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 bop. Got it. Otho, Tasmanian it is now... devil sounds. Otho, it is now your turn. All right. Otho. Uh, bonus action dash into the room. You got it. And then I had like 20 feet. Uh, 
Uh... Oh, damn it. I'm not close enough. Yeah, I'll, I'll just use my action to also dash and prepare to push the funny thing open. You got it. All right, that brings us to Milo. It is now your turn. This is, all right, Moni, are you ready for silly? Oh boy. I would, I, I'd like to take one of my uh, oil vials and try to huck it at the stairs, not to burn, but to create a slippery surface to where, I mean, he's going at mock oh. speed. I'm curious. I'm, I, 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 I'm, I'm curious if it would stumble him or slow him down a bit. We'll find out. Yup. Goodbye, bottle of oil. I mean, I got two. Goodbye, one of our bottles. Right, of oil. That is your action as you huck a bottle of oil and it splatters against this space. I'm just there? Here. I think. Oh, yeah, that's the top. That's the top, right? Right there? That is the top, yeah. He gets oh, to the okay. top of the stairs and he makes the Peter Griffin falling down the stairs. Like, oh, fuck, fuck, fuck. <laughs> that's, that is that is the hope. Okay, you so hear that Easton Vale family guy fall. That classic <laughs> cartoon banana peel slipping noise. Right. <laughs> <laughs> that was really well synced. That was terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, Milo, is that end your turn? That sure does. I move from a 30. All right, that brings us to Kai. It is now your turn. Well, as you know, I'm a big fan of Gaijin Goomba, and I too enjoy shenanigans. Will you allow me to use my action to interact with object and throw a torch at the uh, oil? Don't do Don't it. Do... That will hurt us Bosco. in the process. <laughs> The I whole would love point to of just not cast lighting a fireball, it on but I don't fire. The whole point of, of him throwing it and not lighting it on fire was so that we don't do more damage to ourselves. But what if he takes fall damage? That's his own damn fault. He won't. I don't think he's going to care about the fire if he's impervious. I mean, that's also fair. No, I'm just going to move here. But I just want to light <laughs> okay. God damn it, Bosco. <laughs> <laughs> that's a double move. If, if he slips and falls on his fucking stupid ass, that's his own prerogative. <laughs> oh, I know. Yeah, it one is fall damage the split amongst terror, five like, people. Are you for real? It is now the king's turn. Let's go. As you hear scraping coming up from the stairs, he reaches the top. And nobody's there. No one's there, but there is a thing of oil, and he has squeezed into a medium space, meaning that this will affect him, so. Yes! <laughs> Let go. I'm gonna say for this, because it's kind of improvised. Mm -hmm. uh, I love oil, finding. Oil flask. I'm going to treat this like a, like a grease spell. And I'm sure. gonna say yeah. the DC is a 10, because it's not exactly the best. Right. It's not really the intention Average. of the item, so he has That's to fine. make a dexterity saving throw, I believe, or fall prone. So I will roll that. Just here. Oh, fuck! <laughs> it's like a turtle on his back kicking all the Boy arms around. Alert! Milo, can you hear a slamming noise? One of his noise? hands holds up a tiny button. Uh-huh, uh -huh, Monty. But his movement doesn't seem to slow as unfortunately he roll a fifth he rolled a fifteen. Oh, okay. Hey man, it was a good Great shot. Great fucking it idea was. though. Yeah. Imagine yeah. imagine if he blew a fucking legendary resistance on <laughs> <laughs> That'd be so fucking great. I'd be all about it. As he gallops forward and he is just around the corner, you can hear him moving at rapid speed. <laughs> Alright. That brings us to Gaius. It is now your turn. See, the unfortunate thing is, is by next turn, he's going to turn the corner and see all of us fucking, like, ducks in a row going into the room, which would make him a little bit more suspicious of the whole shebang. So well, I, he like, came through he, once before. I mean, he came through once before. This guy is not smart. Yeah, but I feel like he would do a little bit more due diligence if we somehow fucking vanished out of sight. I can buy y'all time. I got an idea. Let's just get in the room. Mm, I I I was kind of thinking the guy who has seventy feet, which is me, would wrap around and go the other way. But okay. If uh, you want, if you get in the room, open the other door and run around that way. And okay, okay. Above game question then. This door yeah. here, can it be the the door next to the teleportation pad? Can that be opened from that side? 
You don't know how it opens from that side. You and found out. there's the problem. No, no, no. I no, meant the door to the if you north, go north. Make it look like you ran out of the door and went into the other hallway. If you're worried about him being smart. Yeah, I have a feeling he's going to be way more smart than before. So I can get to here. He's, if he has, and if he has dark vision like I think he does, he's probably going to be able to see us. So by that point, he's going to see me. Nice, I could just make it. Uh, he's going to just see me. So I'm going to have to loop the fuck back around at least to get him off you guys. That's turn. Alrighty, All right. that brings us top of the turn order. Uh, actually, the king is going to use his legendary action. No! Come on, bring it on. Bring it on. To charge into you, Milo. And as Milo, as you turn around, you just see this monolithic form of the king of East and Vale just towering above you. You can see, like, three of the hands are covered in oil. Like, it's just like they're, they're completely, but there's a bunch of other <laughs> hands that are completely clean as the mm. multiple hands hold the sword and begin to lift it over his head towards you. I stand my ground, small man that I am, and I just flashbang the ever-loving crap out of his face. He is not going to swing. That was his help. He used oh, his manifest okay. servant. So okay. he basically has reached you, but he can't do anything with the rest of his turn. Yeah, just, yeah, just run away from him. All right, that brings us to Eskan. It is now your turn. Ah. Time to run. Push him. Preow. <laughs> Just push Gaius over. I can't. He, no, I'm, like, no, I'm literally in. in full movement right there. <laughs> no, no, for fuck's sake. I can't get further. All right, oh Otho. Fucking dare. It is now your turn. Pick me up and um, throw me. <laughs> uh, I will use my... I'll use my action to... Um, I'll use my action to open the secret passageway. You got it. You press your thumb to the stone that you remember, and the secret doorway underneath the desk, crawl space, slides open, revealing. And I'll, I'll like inside. wave to to my comrades. Get in! Get in! Uh, I, um. Yeah, I don't. I don't know what the rest of the plan is uh, in character, so I'm nope. just gonna. No, nope. just gonna just shuffle in. in. All right, you shuffle in. That ends your turn, Otho. Yep. All right, Milo, you're facing down King Isaac Eastonvale. So oh, I, sh I sure what am. What do you do? Hmm. I think I can make this work. Um, I'm going to actually disengage because I nice. don't want to eat that sword, and I will move my 30. Above game, for y'all, I'm just... He's going to shout back, You'll get inside that! I'll slow him down! I hope he's not smart. I hope he's not smart. Carolyn! Yeah, dude, I don't know. He might just have some, like, vague <laughs> spark of fucking inspiration flash in his head. Carolyn! Secret passage. <laughs> <laughs> Secret passage. <laughs> Secret passage. Oh, right. He, oh, right. I ought to know fair, about she those, might have I installed guess. installed that because he didn't know about it, so he might not even know about it. The, the, hey, do the, any this... of the guys I'm fused to know the secret layout of this place? <laughs> yeah, I do, actually. <laughs> the one guy oh, from sweet. the back is like, I have blueprints. Oh, sweet. Oh, oh, awesome. I knew I assimilated with you for a reason. <laughs> The, sm the legendary sm action <laughs> consult blueprints. Every the sm the small. Dogs, like, I'm <laughs> <laughs> Good thing he ate the builder. <laughs> the small holy man stands his ground amongst the towering horror in front of him so his friends can escape. That's turn. All right. That brings us to Kai. It is now your turn. If I drag Milo down the hallway, is it half movement every time it I pull him? It is half movement, yeah. Cool. Then I'm going to get here. That's 15. Uh, and I'm going to start pulling him, unless he resists me. Uh, yeah, I will resist you. I'm going to... What are you doing? Just get out of here, Koi! Not without you! I'm going to pull him. All right, we... competing athletics check, then. Oh, oh boy. Because you're now having to do a grapple as an action, by the way. Great. Well, that's a nat one, so uh, I'll he's take picking it. me up. Yep. Let's go! You got You're him. coming with me! 
Uh, Milo, All you're right. currently being held by Kai. Your movement is now zero because you are technically grappled. And now I'm going to pull him. Uh, All right. So that's what what remaining one. movement do you have? Uh, I have 15 left, so I can move All another right. square with him. You can move him two squares, I'll say. Yeah, so I'll go this way. And then I just moved to him, so I'm going to use my action to dash and pull him another fucking You already used your action squares. to grapple him because he resisted you. So you don't that have count as an anymore. action? Yes. Yep. Grapple That's how grapple for... works, yes. Fuck's sake! Turn! Grapple, grapple is fucking balls in 5e, bro. It's an Alrighty. action to do... All right. It is now the king's turn. Great. I'm still, bet I'm still trying to keep between them, despite being carried. Uh, let's see. What does he want to do? First of all, how close are you? Oh. oh good. That actually might have been good. But he is still gonna move. And he is going to make manifest wizard as you watch a sprouting <laughs> from the sort of bridge between his back. You see the form of Mervin the wizard kind of snap out oh, of his God. body, Roast. the corpse you remember seeing. Oh no! Who has work right now? Who's got work on them? Kai. <laughs> Yeah. What, what, was it or, Kai? I thought it was, I thought it was I think Gaius, Kai. I no, I thought somebody... Who was the last person to say something? It wasn't it, Kai. It was me. It was Gaius. It I was, think it was Gaius. Gaius. Okay. Gaius, as his form emerges from the, the shoulders of the king, you see Wark go, Wark, almost in a sad way, oh. as they see this oh, form. Oh, no. But and you uh. watch as Mervyn flexes at their hands, and three of their fingers flash with a bright light as he's going to catch magic missile on Milo, Kai, and Eskan. Why? <laughs> well, that's, oh, that man. just hits. So Leave that me just alone. hits. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's going to be uh, three points of damage on you, Milo. Alrighty. That is going to be four points of damage on you, Kai, and on East. This is, I'm tired of being a good person. You only roll you take... one to hit. There's no. To hit. It automatically hits. It's it just automatically damage. hits. It's magic oh. missile. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's auto. That's magic missile. Uh, and East Gen, you take four points of force damage as well. As you all of them. Four and a three. Fuck you. As wow. all of them hit at the same time, and the body kind of <laughs> kind of descends back into the body of the king. That is his action. That ends the king's turn. Gaius, it is now your turn. I have a stupid idea. I love stupid what, ideas. Let's hear what it. What is this? What What is this fun thing right here? That is a bookshelf. Cool. Would I be able to athletics check push this motherfucker over to block the door as soon as everyone gets in here? With an athletics check, yes, you may. If you want to hold your action to do Ooh. that, move and hold your action. I, I will get Ooh. in here and I will fucking like just like the heavy in that fucking one short. Come on! <laughs> yeah, literally. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> get in That's here now. That's a good now. idea. Good shape. I am shit, holding Zito. action. I am holding action to push the bookcase over. You got it. As soon All as right. everyone gets in here. Alrighty. At the end of your turn, the king. Uh, right, okay, that has the caveat of that. Uh, where then? Oh, God. Uh, the king summons up a longbow with its legendary action, Make Manifest Archer, and is going to aim the shot towards you, Milo, because you're immediately he to you. shoot. Uh, he's going to get a solar flare right in the eyes because I'm within 30 feet of him. All right, reaction. <laughs> you flare him. Uh, that probably saved you. That's going to be a nine to hit. Yeah, that'll miss. All right. As you let out the flare, all the hands reach up to all of the eyes on the body as the king, <laughs> like, shrieks out in the force of the light. Uh, and it misses. The arrow shot strikes into the ground next to you. Uh, and that ends the king's legendary action. That brings us to uh, top of the turn order. Eastcan, it is now your turn. Run. 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. 45, 50, 55, 60. Okay, Kirby, uh, Kirby B fancy. slide down. As yeah, you literally. The, the secret <laughs> Otho will see a uh, very harrowed uh, East Ken come through the door with an arrow in his back and some remnant si like sizzling on his back from the magic missile. And fourth degree burns. We don't know how that happened. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Fourth yeah. degree burns. <laughs> Time itself has been burned by the spell. O Alrighty. Otho will help Eastgan into a comfortable position, and he'll whisper, "Stay there." Don't 
have to tell me twice. Alrighty, Otho, it is now your turn. Uh, I don't really have much to do, so I'm just gonna... I'm going to take a position near the hidden door, and no. I will hold my action to uh, close it whenever everybody's in here. Okay. Which I... Not gonna happen this turn, but... Alrighty, that brings That's us me. to Milo. It is now your turn. I look over to Kai and just scream out, I said, put me down! Turn back to the king. And Monty, I don't care if this doesn't work. This is just what he would do in the moment. I am going to attempt to turn undead. You got it. All right, so uh, as an action, present your holy symbol, speak a prayer. Uh, each undead that can see or hear you within 30 feet must make a wisdom saving throw. If the creature fails its saving throw, it is turned for one minute or until it takes damage. You got it. Wisdom so, saving throw, you said? Wisdom saving throw, I believe it's my spell DC, which is 14. 14, okay. Ooh, okay. You present your holy symbol and the king makes a shriek of pain and agony, and you feel the will of Orin enter into you and protect you as the king immediately, almost like a spider being blown by wind, kind of like digs its fingers into the earth to try and pursue you, but a force is like shoving it backwards as your turn undead takes effect. Oh, and hits. let's fucking go. Be, hey. be gone, vile scum. Yeah, yeah Gaijin. Uh, you're moving zero. You're grappled. Oh yeah, I'm I'm done. <laughs> I can't do anything else. Alrighty, that ends Milo's turn. That brings us to Kai. It is now your turn. Uh, I'm gonna double move, so dash thirty feet. Yep. Take Milo with you. Um, yep. That'll get me to here, right to the thing, so you can move him with me. Whoop. And then I will let him. I will put him down. I yeah, swear if you charge that thing, I am going to kill you! Run! Can you click down, turn undead for me, Milo, please? Uh, I've got the Radiance of Dawn. I don't... Hang on a minute. Let me search for it. Um, yeah, just so I know. Do you... you? You definitely have turn undead. Oh, yeah, I have it. I just don't... Oh, I just you automatically don't have, it. have it. I just need to read it, so... Turn undead. Turn undead. I don't I, I don't have any I don't have it to click. I didn't put it in the bar. Um but okay. it's 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 there if you do the search for it. I'll just look it up on D D Beyond. I cleric. On D D and D Beyond. Classic it's cleric. I'm just gonna double check it here. No, you're good. Can't Classic. willingly move to a space within thirty feet of you. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he can't chase you. Uh turn on dead. Is an actually present your holy symbol? This turn for one minute until it takes any damage. A turn creature must spend its turn trying to move as far away from you as it can, all right? And he will do so. As the king laments and moans, a chorus of screams from the myriad of corpses, you hear this pathetic wail of just Carolyn over and over and over again as it trudges forward uh, and out of sight. And for the sake of the turn on dead, you guys have a minute as he is leaving. Oh, let's go. And I'm Does he end slip on the wheel again? Uh, you know, I'll roll for it. Carolina! <laughs> you <laughs> 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 joke, but as he's moaning and crying, you hear a <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. That was MVP god. for this yes. episode. <laughs> <laughs> you may have stopped me now, but I'll be back! The turn order comes to an end, but you are still on a timer as that only lasts a minute. But yep. it is. What are you guys doing as you have some time? Yep. Get, Get in right. here. Get the fuck in here now. I am oh, still fucking. Come on, come on, come on. To push it right. over. Athletics. This is a pretty heavy shelf, but. I will give Can guidance and him? assistance. Okay, yeah, I'll give guidance. Yeah, boom. You got it. I'm going to move it with him. You have advantage and you have plus four or D plus D one one D four, so here I go. Nine Oh for fuck's sake. I, I know, man. Roll the D four, roll the D four. Oh, we're good. It's eleven. Twelve. 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 That's twelve. As just enough. The DC Ooh. was twelve. Is you grab the shelf and you just throw it over and it crashes to the ground. It is now blocking this door. I'm just gonna put a square to show you where it is now. Wow, cool. Let square. me in. <laughs> cool. Right there. I'd say get in here forehead, but the hair covers it, so I don't, I can't see it. 
Also, you'd have and to be more I specific because we all have hair. Shut the damn Close door. the door, cut chunk. And, and none chunk. of us have foreheads. Whoa. Whoa. I say we move further in. Yeah, I'm down with that. Well, so... To be fair, we should at least hear if he goes in there. The only thing further in is the passageway, right? And that leads into Correct. the next room. Correct. I'm, I'm in the toilet. Hide. I'm, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Honestly, hide in the if corner. you move into the next room, that's where you should do the filing, and then yeah. you come back. That's what I feel. That's what I well, want to do. Isn't the next room an, an open room that he will have access to? Nope. No, no, no. Before nope. the the there's a tunnel, but before you get to the room, you can do it in the tunnel. Hang on, I've got a I've got a burgeoning layout of this floor. Yeah, because I remember the tunnel. It's pretty narrow. I think Monty described it as. It is it's narrow. narrow. You just, here, here, is that going to be enough space to do anything? No, but here's the thing. Then we go back into the queen's chambers and go into the centerfold. But where? That's what I'm saying. Is those rooms are open to access yes. to, for the king to get to. Whereas this room is closed off. But you you don't need more than five feet to just shave something with a tool. Yeah, but we also have to like boil a dragon scale. Like we're gonna be in here for a while. Oh, so I... boil it in the All toilet. Right, <laughs> yeah, Zito, what's your plan? Because uh, all right, fine. Let me just fucking do this because we have a. I my worry is is we have a minute, and then if he starts hearing me file shit, he's gonna be right in earshot. He's gonna Kool Aid man his way in through here. So that's why. Oh, I yeah. want to... Sorry. <laughs> I mean, how long is it going to take to file down a couple of shavings, and how many do we need? Uh, it is going to be a what smithing a, tools check, so at which, least an Which action. I have I have smithing tools, and because so of my thing, So an action is have, six seconds. We're fine. But I also have advantage because of my rune knight ability. You do, yeah. There you go. So you're good. So just do it. I will guidance. All right, so I'm going to roll 20 with advantage, unless there's a thing I have to do, Monty. Uh, I would say strength would be your modifier for smith's tools. That's how I like to run it, because it is strength-based. Yes, because strength is my best thing I have. And, I and if you're proficient, lot. it's plus your proficiency bonus as well. Yeah, yep. if you're so proficient with it. That is technically a plus four, so that's six, seven, eight. That's eight instead of a plus six, so I'm going to roll this. You got it. And your D4 for, for guidance. And there you so go. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23... And you know what? For shits and giggles, let's go. 24, 25, 26. You said it's plus go. plus eight, right? Yeah, that is. With the I think he's eight. fine with a twenty-eight. So plus yeah, eight puts you to twenty-six, good. and then it goes to twenty-nine. With well, no, no, the... no, 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 because the plus eight includes the strength, which is already applied with the strength check. So oh, it's I see. Just plus a perfect. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, it's yeah, twenty-five yeah. then. So. Gaius, you just take out the mithril, you slam it onto the pew that's like right next to you, and you just bring down your hoof on it. You pull out the file, and you just ee, like it's like rapid speed. You can even see like sparks lighting up the space as you are just oh, going do I set turbo the pew fast. On fire? <laughs> it gets a little smoky. <laughs> Quick, get the bucket. We can boil the dragon scale. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but sure enough, you the get toilet. a handful of mithril filings in your hands. So you have you have that now. You also still have about half of a mithril ingot. So whatever you want to do with that, you can keep that in your inventory. Ooh, yeah. so you successfully hey. made filings. Woo! Okay, now what? Do, okay, we have the filings. Come now on. what? Uh, we, we need we need to crush that unicorn horn, right? Isn't it already crushed? No, it's, it's crushed it's, in the it's, bag. It's, about a, it's a coin. Oh, it's, it's a coin. coin. It's like right. a coin. Oh, I thought it was dust it. in the bag. I thought nope. so too. Guys, just like hold his hand out. Give me it. <laughs> Powder <laughs> the coin. Put it put it in the bag though, so it doesn't get all over the place. Yep, well, that's. I'm gonna keep it in the bag and use the fucking hammer from the spitting tools and. <gasps> Guidance! Okay. That is gonna be just a straight up athletics check because this oh, is not a spitting tool check. This is, this is just it's your just strips crushed. smashing something in a bag. Crush! Crush! Yeah, yeah, bam. Bam. Roll d4. Crush! <laughs> you, you needed a tool, but a 21 is really fucking good. <laughs> So no tools necessary as you smash into fiber, like just smash into powder, this <laughs> divine horn of a divine I, I celestial to, creature. I want you to- I want to I imagine a whole, he stomps on it for good hey. picture. No, 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 no. I, want, I want it to be, I want it to be like this. That fucking, like Milo holds out the bag and goes, yeah, but we need to like be careful. I just snatch it <laughs> and fucking smash it to my forehead like a beer can. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, yeah! Just every thwack, just Otho's head sinks into his shoulders. Do you remember when the Mythbusters, like, turned a car into dust in that one episode? It's basically... Oh, my that, God! Like, um, a I fucking horn. do, when they put the rocket on the other end of it. Yeah, and it's just fucking eviscerated into dust. <laughs> Done. Done. All right, right well, we, we gotta still boil need the... to boil the scale. Um, uh, guys, you got that bucket, right? I don't... Do you want me to crush this it? This bucket? No, the don't crush wooden... the bucket. <laughs> the bucket. The wooden that bucket. bucket. All right, put that bucket down. I got that. I got some water. <laughs> we can use it to boil. Okay. Right. We're... Is it a wooden bucket or is it like a tin bucket? It is bucket? a wooden bucket. Oh, oh fuck. That's me. a bad oh. idea. Yeah. No, We've no got this perfectly there. good toilet in here. Yeah, but... We need to we need to have a fire source that's gonna be hot enough to boil Gaius the water fireball. inside. Gaius holds his hand up and you see the rune in 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 giant fire etched in his finger. I can't read giant. Well that that it, it etched in the middle of his palm, so it's just a fire <laughs> rune. It just appears. Can you sustain he could it? Probably, he could probably hit the bucket with that without blowing it to bits. I mean that that's the best thing we got right now if we want to do it quickly. What's the toilet made out of? Toilet? What toilet are you talking about? There's no toilet the in toilet here. The toilet right here. The in There's no toilet in here. Yeah. Oh my that's god, that's a, a sensor. That's a statue. Wait, oh. It's a sensor. Guys, guys which anything means... is a toilet if you try hard enough. It's a fair Hold question. On. We can literally if it's a sensor that's a little dish that's used to boil to to burn incense, can we empty it out, fill that with water and put a fire underneath that? If it's a real sensor. It's only a scale, so yeah. I'm asking work. the yeah. DM yeah, if we can do that. You can try. <laughs> Damn it. Great. Really, I any love, places of any I love how you describe the sensor. Would you destroy the bucket? Do would it you is, describe it, the sensor? It is made of stone. It is not made of metal, but it is still stone. Um, That's good. It is definitely meant to be presentable, not functional, but it is a bowl that is made out of stone. It's not very large, though. So, hey, hey, hey guys, real quick. Um, I, I, this is just my suggestion. We wait. We wait to see if he comes in. I mean, he's going to be in here by now anyway. It's only a minute. Um, I don't think he can break through here if he doesn't know where the door actually is. And is the door stone, Monty? Uh, it is essentially stone that opens up through a bookcase, which closes. So if it's stone, he's going to have a fun time getting in here if he even knows that we're in here. I say we wait, wait for him to start patrolling around, then go out and use the actual alchemy lab that we have next door. If one of us. If he doesn't break it to smithereens. One of it's us could go out there and try well. to lead him around while people boil water in the other room. That'll take a long time. How long does it take to boil water? <laughs> Can well, I do a depends on the check? altitude <laughs> and the uh, salinity say, level of the water. Depending on the amount of water, depending on how hot the fire is, I mean, I'm going to say average between, like, maybe two to five minutes. Mm -hmm. That's what I think. I think we just wait, let him burn himself out, come back, start looking around, then we go to the next room, and we just use the kit. As you were all having this discussion, you begin to hear movement and noises. Shh. Well, time, time, to, time to see if this plan will hold through. If we're compromised, we're fucked. Uh, you hear a, a large thudding noise coming from this direction. And what's out nope. here, it sounds like... I'm going to move the camera so the chat can see. Uh... And what sounds like steel on metal. Just like a... <laughs> and then it stops. And then you hear... Coming from this direction. And... Like, everyone make a group stealth doesn't... check for me, please. Yes, ma'am. Do not have to stealth apply... Do not have to apply disadvantage on armor because you're not moving. So just right. Okay. Oh, so like hey, he oh a my! Two on both ends. What the fuck? Nope. No advantage. Just straight roll. Eighteen. I'll take an eight. That's good. He doesn't know where I am. It's an eight. Yeah. 
She's in the hallway. Go find her. <laughs> Footsteps go this way and seem to head in that direction. Yes. The east. Yeah, dude. She's yeah. waiting for you. Check the room. Slips on oil, falls down the stairs again. Oh, fuck! Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> Dude, Why this is there oil in the hallway? On, like, Where did this staircase come from? Forgot that was there. There's a banana in the middle of the hallway for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> he has to manifest janitor to clean it up before he can continue. <laughs> he he spins around like Mario Kart. <laughs> uh, whoa, 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 whoa. Gaius it is worth noting that Wark is like shaking. Oh, oh. I I guess I could feel it. Uh, I. I pet him like I would like a fucking scared animal. I just gently pet him on the head and stroke down the back. Mark. Well, are we going to build this fire or what? I personally think it would be smarter to do it in here. I will that say way this. we're not making this is any a... noise. This is a sealed chamber. Um, yeah, starting a fire. fire just is crack the chamber door open chamber. a little bit. <laughs> yeah. I'm... is gonna incur some damage here because it is not there's no way for any of the smoke to leave um so Just that's crack open one of the secret doors a little bit <laughs> but it, what if it's magic fire then it's magic smoke and we're fine Ugh. yeah but actually then we no, just trip the light fan that's fair what if i summon my shackles underneath it does that count it doesn't last long enough i think to count poo poo because you Listen, need to boil it, you're not roasting so we've, it. Right. We've got this. We've got this pew that is made of wood. Yep. I unfortunately could, don't have disintegrate. There's. We all could, right. There's a lab right over here. It's right there. Yes. Above game, what I am saying is, we've noticed that every time we make noise in one of the rooms, he comes he stumbling around. Up. So if we yep. make noise to get this all set up in the lab. And then it has to boil for three to five minutes. That's a long time for him to come find us. As yeah, so does, if he can as, eat in the... As someone who does a lot of cooking, I can tell you right now, boiling water don't make a lot of noise. Especially if it's a small amount of water. So just a fair point. Yes, but I'm, any, I'm arguing any this of... above game and not any character. I am um, arguing in character. I, I understand that. What I'm saying is that in order to, like, we don't... None of us are alchemists, so... We obviously don't know the equipment and everything. We'd have to go out there, see what we have. I'm not saying this is an argument against it. What I'm saying is let's plan it out before we do it so we know if something goes wrong, yeah. we can adjust. Okay. At, at, least, at least for above game. But because yes. I, I, I can also argue against that fact that gastronometry could be a form of alchemy. Here's, here's where I would roll with that. Um, we know what we have to do, and... I'd argue since we're not using any, since we're not using anything really volatile, we're just diluting stuff. Monty, would my cooking expertise have any play in this at all? No, because this is okay. much more different. Cooking is okay. mistakes are more possible in cooking, whereas if this is an alchemical thing, the mm -hmm. the margin for error is much less. Meaning that it's so here's, at, here's at another this, question. hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Yeah, give, so right, it, give him, yeah. so it wouldn't matter who does it then, Monty, at this point. Unless someone here is proficient in alchemist tools, assuming the alchemist tools are even intact. That's the other mm -hmm. thing you're not thinking about either. You don't even know if they're there. That, that's what I was I also know. trying to ask if an herbalism kit would matter. No, this is not okay. herbalism. This is alchemism. Like al alchemism. <laughs> Alchem alchemism. Al alchemism. Uh, it is. This would be an alchemy check, technically. Well, I, I tell you what. How about you guys just let me pop out. I'll look at the equipment, see if it's functional, and then pop back in. I'm small. Sure. My, yeah. my only issue with that is you are also in plate mail. Yeah, this would incur a stealth check. I will say that. I, I could do it. Okay. Yes. I like that plan. All right. Oka, go ahead for me and roll a stealth check. I'm apparently the stealth guy, even though I've flubbed it up several times now. Would you rather be the <laughs> I, say, guy? I don't know if I trust Otho to roll a stealth check. <laughs> would you... Oh, okay, Just would you rather don't... be the criminal guy? <laughs> Can oh, I guidance God, this, Monty? No. no. Okay. Well, yeah, my roll twenty. Don't fuck us. I'll crack open the door. Uh, my my Sattel's check. That's twelve. That's good enough. Let's go. Oh, 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 oh. 
Hopefully. I don't think you've been heard as you make your way out. Also, it's worth I don't noting, think I've been heard. There are two s giant slash marks in the overturned bookcase. It seems like the king tried to make his way through and didn't. Wait, are the books oh, okay? Did. Wait. Bosco. Are the books okay? You're not there. You don't know. Damn it. Gonna, Connor, check on the books. I'm gonna punch you in the back. I'm gonna punch you in the back of the kneecaps, no, that's, I swear. That's actually kind of fucking sick with it. Because he didn't make it through. If he goes back that way, he still has to fight through it. Mm-hmm. All right, I'll I'll take a look at our equipment to see if we can get something to a boil with with what we've got here. That would be this desk here. Uh, notably, <laughs> because the king had a bit of a tantrum in here, some of the equipment looks uh, somewhat broken, uh, but not completely destroyed. I would like you to roll an investigation check for me, please. Dun, 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 dun. That's a natural twenty, baby. Natural Woo! 20. That is a good one to get a natural 20 on. As you look through, it looks like all of the vials that you would probably put the finished product in are completely destroyed. Like they've just absolutely, they fall into the ground and they've shattered. However, as you look through the equipment, specifically you find what is essentially a, a, a fantasy equivalent of a Bunsen burner nice. uh, and a Ooh. small metal container, like a small sort of cup shaped container, uh, as well as what appears to be a skin of water uh, next to it. Uh, the remaining parts that are missing, uh, interesting enough, is, uh, again, the vials and some of the other, like, material used for synthesizing is just completely destroyed at this point. But you've already kind of taken the other steps necessary, but you're able to, in fact, just take this with you. You can take this Bunsen burner and this equipment with you if you wish, because that is yeah, he'll... the only, so you're not destroyed anymore. Otho will, like, grab both of them and, like, wiggle them in front of his face in front of the open door. Um... A, a couple things. Um, one, if there's anything broken, I might be able to fix it. I've got mending, and I've got tons of oils. We've got, we've got what we need right here, Mr. Brightbeam. I, I'd like to also point out, Monty, that mm -hmm. the fantasy equivalency of a Bunsen burner is, and I shit you not, a bong. <laughs> Great. <Of> um, <laughs> above, above, above game. First knowledge. <laughs> Above game, I have 20 vials. If we need vials, we're good. <laughs> we could also just let this cool and then drink straight out of it once we're done. Smoke it. <laughs> oh my god. I was no. gonna... Bad. <laughs> hey man, I think we're clean from the king or whatever. <laughs> I think I see the light. Wait. Mr. Right, babe. Do you ever think about how the stars? I'm gonna make the king show up just because. <laughs> guys, guys, what do you sound like when you're high? I say I do believe I find this to be in very bad taste. <laughs> the, the king's got like a little a little miner's helmet and a pickaxe, and he like digs up through the floor. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a like a Minecraft character. Yeah. It's just like ting ting ting. <laughs> Manifest Cheech and Chong. Alrighty. What do you guys do? You have materials. Okay. It's time to cook. Let's cook Here's it. what I'm thinking. If this is going to generate smoke or steam or any volatile fumes, we should probably open up one of these entrances to let that out. I suggest this entrance over here. Makes sense to me. Can, here's the thing. Above game. Can we actually open them just enough so it goes into the center point? Uh, I would say this. This door only stays open temporarily, and it's very slow going. However, so I will say this, the size of the Bunsen <laughs> burner looks like it will not produce a ton of smoke. In fact, when you got the natural yeah. 20, the Bunsen burner uses a continual flame spell, essentially, to work. Oh, so it does not produce smoke. There you go. Awesome. Then let's do it here. All right. You guys set it up on the floor. With the watching eyes of the Harvest Man to the north, the giant uh, Make hidden... Make a square, guys. Yeah, the giant hidden uh, temp... Uh, temple i guess uh to hokath here almost almost narratively appropriate as you kind of set the water inside of this small cup you turn on the bunsen burner no checks necessary uh, and place the dragon scale inside and as you do it seems like it secretes some sort of oil as you kind of boil it for a long period of time and the color kind of fades almost like basically like the opposite of a crab shell and it kind of dulls the color and what remains is a very pungent oily smell of some kind, but you now have essentially 
boiled dragon scale essence as well. Cool. <sighs> oh, strong. All right. Well, I suppose without further ado, we should combine all of these things. Now for the yellow and red herb. I'm going to say something <laughs> interesting as well for the natural 20 investigation check, uh, Otho. Shit, when I'll ride this one out. You are, yeah. When you were scouring <laughs> the, the table looking for things, you noticed other notes that were kind of unimportant that definitely were written by Mervyn the wizard. What's interesting to note is that this recipe was not written by him. The writing does not match. Mm -mm. You get the sense this wasn't something that Mervyn written. You get the sense that someone sent this to him. Huh. Is there any way to check the writing against anything nope. that we have? Nope. You've never seen this writing before. It's just, it, you know it's not Mervyn's writing. Okay. But well, it could be from a book. The... It could be from a different source. You're not sure, but it's definitely not written by him. Court Wizard may have been in contact with somebody outside of the kingdom who knew about this situation. Well, maybe he'll write back to us once the kingdom's back up in order if we survive this. Possibly, but... Who would be knowledgeable about something like this? Well, let's not spend too much time thinking about it. Let's get this done. You're right, Mr. Brightbeam. The sooner we can all be free of this curse, the better. I produce I produce the uh, the crushed hor unicorn horn and the uh, filings. All right. The filings are kind of a deep blue. Uh, and you, I'm going to say you guys do this in the bucket, because the bucket makes the most sense at this point. Yeah. Yes. Zip bucket. Uh, you pour in the crushed unicorn horn, which basically looks like, um, like mother of pearl glitter is the best way to describe what it looks like. Uh, as you pour that in, you then add the oil from the boiled dragon scale, which mixes in and almost like hisses and pox, almost like, um, vinegar and baking soda for a brief moment before it kind of congeals into a single form. Uh, and then as you place in the mithril filings, it almost turns to sludge in the mixture. Almost like, you know, when you put mud into water, how it kind of slurries. And then who has the holy water? I think that's uh, Milo. That's no, Milo. I, I didn't, I didn't take the whole cat's holy water. It was either you or Gaius. Why I you think it's me. It? I think it's me. Okay. So right. I've got I have, my. Have, I've got. Have, oh yeah, uh, I said that earlier. Water. Anyway, I'm an idiot. You have holy water too, <laughs> guys. Well, I do, but it's the one for uh, war. Betrion, I believe. Yeah, it's not yeah. yes. I've got the Hoketh one. Okay. Otho, as you open the cork to the Hoketh holy water, all of you hear echoing through the hallways, rattling the entire keep, a defiant, furious roar that shakes the entire building as you open the holy water. Oh. I, turn, I look over my shoulder at the, at the statue. Watch over us, I guess. And I'll pour it in. All right, you pour the entire content of the holy water into the bucket. And what was once a very disgusting looking concoction that was like, ooh, I have to drink that suddenly glows almost ethereally, similar to that vial of liquid that Lynn had in her desk, but different, more of a sort of teal hue. And it almost like pierces and glows in the space. And as it does, you didn't notice the sort of looming shadows that has encroached upon this keep that very quickly, almost as if oil and water, divert away from this light, almost hissing and recoiling from its presence. As you kind of stir the liquid, it becomes this sort of glowing potion. Plenty enough for all of you, plus one. Six doses. Wow. Six um, doses. But that scream continues in the space as the keep begins to shake and echo. Here, everyone take a vial. Yep, let's see you on the other side. Yep. Let's get a vial and swig. Dunk them. Yeah, hang on Gentlemen. to your vial. To your health. What's left of it? To Orin. Swig. All right. As each of you takes your drink, Otho, as you drink it, you feel your head swim 
for a moment. It's almost unpleasant at first, very like strong in flavor. And it's almost like a burning sensation that runs down your esophagus, eventually reaching your core. And as it reaches your stomach, you almost feel a slice of an umbilical cord, something being removed from inside of you, as you almost feel scissors cutting out something tumorous and parasitic. And you, for the first time, breathe easy, not realizing the weight of the curse that was put upon you. You are now free from the shackles of Eason Vale and the curse that put you under. <sighs> Kai, as you take your drink, it almost hits your ears with how strong the flavor is. And as you swallow hard, it travels down almost like a fiery spit until eventually hitting your stomach, which then feels roiling and acidic. And as it hits your center, you too feel that sensation of a tether being cut, of being snapped at its core. You feel a weight lifted from the center of your being as you are now severed from Isandale's curse. Milo, as you take a drink, similar sensation but different, something familiar to you. As it enters inside of the depth of your body, eventually hitting your core, you feel that sort of tingling sensation of your wings feel brighter and stronger. And that same tether in your center severed as you are no longer bound to the curse of Isandale. Iskan, as you take a drink, at first you don't taste anything. It's sort of clear, almost alcoholic in nature, until it kind of reaches into you and you feel the sort of swimming sensation. Your eyes kind of dart this, that, and this way. You kind of feel a headache enter yourself. And you feel your scales begin to almost as if, for the first time, clearly shed and clear as the color returns to you. You feel a sever cut at your center and you are no longer tied to the curse of Eastonville. Gaius, as you take a drink, every single piece of fur on your body uh, kind of like stands up on edge, almost as if you've drunk something incredibly powerful and potent. You feel your eyes kind of instinctually wrench cl uh, clothes as you kind of mm, keep your constitution and swallow fully. You feel your vitality return to you. You feel more feeling in your fingers, a feeling you didn't realize you were missing. And as you feel that centermost point cut, you find yourself no longer tied to the curse of Easton Vale. It is then that the roar ends in a cacophonous silence and all of your ears ring as you are all no longer bound to the king. Oh, it felt so good. And there's almost a light about of all of you. As you kind of stand, it's almost as if a mist, a miasma that has taken over this place is actively avoiding you, creeping into corners to avoid your presence. Oh, it feels like we were all still dead until just now. Above the question. Yeah. yeah. Do our max HPs return? It does, yeah. Your yeah. max HP are back to normal, Let's and you're fully healed as well. Oh, wow. Go. Oh, fucking go. Do Wait. we... Expended spell HP? slots are not gone. Right, so. that's what I was curious. Okay. Just yeah. HP is back to Just normal. That's good, HP that's good. HP is back, and any other additional effect like exhaustion or poison, which I don't think anybody had, would be gone, but that doesn't Yeah, we're, good. Here, we're so. clean on that. You are um, clean. If it's all the same for the rest of you, I'd like to save that six one and maybe give it to Lynn. For Lynn. Right. Aye. Is there any, like, little, like, small sliver enough, maybe a work size one? <laughs> uh, work seems fine. Can Ralph work even know... drink? Yeah, you're not even sure if he can drink, because he's kind of he's got a listen, Muppet mouth going on. Li listen, listen. Chris Zito knows that's stupid. Gaius Agni, however, thinks that's naive and cute as fuck. Just look and see if he has a throat. <laughs> can you even Open your it? mouth. Open your mouth. Yeah, yeah, it's, like, it's, like trying to feed, it's like trying to feed a cat medicine. Yeah, basically. <laughs> Well, we'll tilt what's left into uh, an empty vial, and Otho will store it away, he hidden and safe for Lynn. Above game question: Does anybody besides could anyone besides me benefit from a short rest? Yes. Uh, I I don't think I used anything that would require a short rest because I would just basically get everything back, so I could take it, but I don't. I think I need it. 
I would I would love to get my turn back because I get that on a short. I um, I would also love to take a short rest, and that's all I'm gonna say. Okay. Uh, I'm I'm cool with this. I literally now that I'm fully healed don't need it, so it's okay if we do it. I would like to spend that time uh, as a lookout, just listening for uh, the king and making sure that he's not finding us, kind of thing. Right. Sure. All right. So while all of you guys take a short rest, I would like East Kendrill an active perception check. Active perception. Yep. Not balanceable. <laughs> this is over a course of time. Sixteen. Mm -hmm. East Ken, it is eerily quiet. <laughs> Fun. He Minecraft cuts his way from the bottom. Um. <laughs> so, quick question. Should we take our break since we got a stop point? This is a good point. Yeah, we'll take our break here. Yeah, let's okay. do it. I got a piece of break bad. time. Just, the turns. However, the turns have tabled because now you need to find the king. Oh, wow. I want him to fucking turn like Tom and Jerry, where Tom's <laughs> about to shoot, to, where Tom's about to shoot Jerry, and then a bigger like mouse that's supposed to be an elephant is behind him, followed by a third one. <laughs> And it's, it's fucking Milo, then Otho, and then Gaius in giant form. Oh, King Isaac is, he's just putting on a trench coat and a hat and with a briefcase, and he's getting on a plane. Yeah, I was going to say, <laughs> alternatively, it's that scene from Airplane where, like, oh. they're all taking turns slapping the hysterical woman, and the camera pans down, and you see, like, Gaius with his three weapons all sheathed out at the back of the line, just, pat, oh. like, ready. All right, I'm going to go pee right back. Yeah, potty oh, time. Oh, man. It's pee pee time. Yeah, I may as well attempt as well. Be right back. Attempt. And I guess I guess that means it's time for the Bosco halftime show. What up? How you guys doing? Hope everybody's having a good time. There's a lot of you mothers here. What's up? Also, shout out to YouTube. I see y'all. We out here. We appreciate you wherever you're listening. Zen Litter already has an episode title for 100 bits. Unlife alert. Interesting. Cyrus with the 10 bits. No. <laughs> Don't put in the sweaty broly water. Ugh. Raw hockey, hockey dude. Thank you for the title idea for 100 bits. A coup most holy. Nice. Calvin Jarvis, thank you for the five bits. Dragon bathwater. Ugh. Gross. Mikan Pachi, thank you for the 95 bits. Bosco chat determined after the animated intro that the dragon in the opening is 20 kobolds in a trench coat. That's honestly a safe bet. Blackfoot Fair with elite bits. Sweet Caroline. Ba, ba, ba. <laughs> oh, you did the whole song. Oil steps more than they should. I'm now inclined. Ba, 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 to flip you the <laughs> to flip you the bird for good. Excellent, Blackfoot. You're an idiot and I love it. Jin Night Gaming, thank you for the thousand bits. Are we going to get work dice? I mean, stay tuned. Who knows? Burn up on thank you for the hundred bits. Hey, Bosco, to answer your question from earlier, me, my character had a third level spell at third level, Drow Wizard with Drow Noble starting feat. You learned to spell magic. I was the only one with a third level spell for 20 sessions. What? How does that work? Zan, we thank you for the bits. Always enjoy the halftime show. Congrats on the year anniversary. That is true. Tomorrow is the one year anniversary of the start of campaign two. May the fourth be with you. Uh, dice roll, thank you for the bits. The king, I will have my... Oh, shit! <laughs> Slips downstairs. The gaming cobalt, thank you for the 100 bits. Title idea, Wrath of the King Lich. James Rochelle, thank you for the tier two sub. Wee! We got five bits from Protoss. Would love to hear the reaction of uh, party two. Finding out party one could have prevented all this from happening. They, we don't know that, though. Her Gengar, thank you so much for the 100 bits. Did you know the world's first submarine was called the Turtle and was essentially an oversized barrel with a propeller and windows and other attachments? It only survived one test. <sighs> also, very unique first bit drop and first time chat. Props to you. 
Did I miss anything? Uh, not yet. Just bits. Okay. Uh, sorry, I think you for the 100 bits. Title suggestion, The Fall of the King. Well, we got to get there first. Burn, I think you for the 100 bits. Answering that question very specifically, like 90% of 3-5, learn your build. Oh, it was in 3-5. That makes way more sense. Duh. Yeah. She thank you for the 10 bits. Happy birthday campaign, too. And hope you're having a good time, Bosco. White Fang, thank you for the 100 bits. Can't wait for the animated work emoji. Crit Scratch, thank you for the bits. Episode title, The King and Die. That's a nice one. I like that a lot. Uh, Cyrus, thank you for the 10 bits. Is Starry Eastgen just terrestrialized <laughs> in Teleon? Oh, my God. I, I don't I know what that means. I'm not. I don't follow Yu-Gi-Oh, so I'm not sure. Brawl Kaiser, thank you for the 100 bits. Oh, Happy one-year anniversary thing. for the session's birth. And ironically, one-year anniversary of the team's birth. Uh, we've got Zebiz Bizebel. Thank you for the 100 bits. Okay, everyone. Should have to plan this out. Iskon, aim for the legs. Gaius, aim for the arms. Otho, aim for the arms. Milo, aim for the arms. Kai, aim for the arms. What aim for the head? What are you talking about? We should no, have aimed for the, the head. Cut the oh. head off the body. And then maybe don't crush the the head, because it might be a useful item later on. You never know. <laughs> Prince, thank you for the thousand oh bits episode title, Royal Rumble. Uh, oh, my Bubba God. Bobbin, That's pretty good. Thank, it's pretty good. Bubba Bob, thank you for the thousand bits. I don't care if this doesn't get used as a title, but I need to get this off my chest. Dead King's Espada. We're back. Are you play as the Spanish to fight the Fight the king? Inquisition? The Spanish did indeed fight the Inquisition. Brawl Kaiser, thinking about the 100 bits. That was supposed to say the team's deaths. Ah, correction indeed. Ace Bounty, thinking about the 100 bits. Title idea, Requiem of the Dead. Defective Sheep, thinking about the bits. I feel like King Eastonvale Pogface should be the next new channel emote. There's a lot of options and not a lot of room. <laughs> Killer Chansey, think of the 10 bits. I'm sorry I can't stop thinking this. Stoned East Gun, man, I could really go for a peanut butter and sauerkraut sandwich right now. Kai, we are all really just sandwiches. I'm back. I love that. Also, you chose the irony one of East Gun eating a peanut butter sandwich yeah. is just not lost on me. Yeah, I was like, I one of it. those toppings would kill East Gun's player. Yeah, so I would that's kill to see that. <laughs> Mekon, thank you so much for the 95 bits. So, for the next 15 episodes after they claim the castle, Kai will be in the library. I guess we'll be showing up to the episodes because they'll be like, all right, what do the four of you want to do while Kai is in purgatory? Constable Mutton with the 10 bits. If the king started summoning bamboo servants, how fucked would you all be? Completely. Very. I think it would be very. Right. No, we'd, no, be, we'd dead. be all right. Easily. We'd be very dead. We'd be all right. Dice Ruler, they give you the bits. Happy birthday, second campaign. Thank you for the birthday wishes. Turns out, Callum the, draws with five bits. Was, turns out the secret concoction was vinegar all along. I oh, knew it. Shit. That's why it bubbled, just like you said. Uh, Callum draws with the five bits. Remy, you're slipping. King of Eastonville, falling down the stairs. Mm -hmm. Protoss, <laughs> five bits. That's a hell of a callback to when we fought the... I just thing that I won't talk about because some of you might not have seen it. Uh, Protoss with the five bits. Party one knew the bead was going to get stolen and said nothing to the guards. Okay. Yeah, right. That was our friend. We didn't to realize fair, we that she was going to be... It. We don't know that the original four are to blame, but if we find that out, then I think both Panic... Uh, what's the blue one's name? The blue one. Really? Really? Yeah, that one. Greckles, that's the one. Uh, Task and Borky, all four of them should be jailed immediately. 10,000 years dungeon. Exactly. Uh, 100 bits from Corin. The king's going to be Ganondoring in the in the throne room to have that slow stand up look intimidating. He lost uh, his more... keys. <laughs> he, he went silent because he's shoving the the pipe organ into his into his keep. Oh my god. Are we uh, good? Morton Brandor, thank you for the 365 bits. Very appropriate. Happy birthday, Unexpectables. Thank you for the birthday wishes. Is everybody back? Because I can just keep going. Yeah, I'm good to keep going. You guys ready to go? All right, let's do it. Yeah. yeah. All righty. Sorry. Give me one second. <clears throat> Uh, 
right. So as all as you all all as you guys. All as you guys. All as you guys in there yes. making that potion. All your base are belong to <laughs> us. As all of you take your short rest, which does complete, mm. something else occurs. Uh oh. As the miasma is kind of forced back. Work kind of blinks a couple times and does that same shaking motion in this space. And you see almost as if a silhouette, an apparated form of Lynn when she was alive, uh, dressed in very nice clothing and opulent looking earrings, very unfitting for her as you know her, currently kneeling in front of the statue that you see in this space. And almost as if for an instant, you hear her kind of like turn quickly as if reacting to a sound as her visage fades. Which way did she turn? Just behind herself. Okay. Oh. Now we have to seek him out, yeah? That's finally Indeed. time. We need to lay Eason Vale to rest. This may seem flashy, but it also might be a combat tactic. We lure him to the, the, the floor up above us. The roof? Aye, more space. That is the widest space that we've seen. I'd be a little bit worried if, if he grabbed one of us, he'd just throw us off. I'm more worried about the confined spaces in the hallways we've seen. It makes it easier for one person to be a target. And it also makes it easier for this whole place to collapse on top of us. I'm with what? Gaius on this one. <laughs> All right, I think we should fight that, him on the roof. If that we last can. one is—is—is is, is, do you think Castle Easton Vale is load-bearing or something? <laughs> yes, it holds up the entire country. This is another one of your fairy tale things, isn't it? No, that's stupid. <laughs> well. Slowly the roof, hides. then. Book. <laughs> Just like, I look at I look at all my books. No. <laughs> I mean, oh, so here's the thing. I've actually got a signal whistle. So if we go to the roof and just make a bunch of noise, they'll know where we're at. I who's to say that? that? Who's to say that he'll still be wanting to pursue us? I feel like something fundamental has shifted here, gentlemen. Let's let's test our theory. Let's let's get out of here. Well, if it helps at all, I don't know if it will, but I didn't hear anything for that whole time while we were resting. So I have no idea where he is. Standing right there. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> hey, you're still really oh, unloaded. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'll uh, push the button or pull of the book. <laughs> Slide of the, the door. <laughs> pull of the book. And the secret hatch underneath the desk opens. Yeah. Yeah. Once, the, once again, as you enter the space, the miasma kind of skirts away from you like dust on the floor. Does does Good the miasma coffee. seem to creep back into the place that that we just left? It does, yeah. It seems to kind of like refill the space. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I hate you, Bosco. <laughs> well, as you enter, War mm -hmm. once again begins to kind of tremble and shake. And you watch as another almost vision comes in. You get the sense that this time it's not Wark doing it; it's someone else through Wark doing something. Because his behavior is different. He's not moving in a similar way. And as he kind of shakes on top of you, Gaius, you watch as the space once again fills. And you see kind of amorphous silhouettes. Once again, you see Lynn, younger this time, uh, sitting on a chair, her head in her hand. And you can see the individual known as Mervyn hurriedly kind of putting a hand on her shoulder and handing her a cup of tea as she just seems to be very despondent and distant. When she lifts her hands from her face, her face looks furious. Oh. And miserable. You said she looks younger than as we met her? Yeah. Is it 
the same as the picture that we saw, or is she older than in that picture? She seems about the maybe slightly younger than the the painting you saw. Okay. I have a feeling that if she was here, the king's death will be somewhat cathartic. In all the times we've seen her depicted here, she's never once looked happy. Well, I guess it's time then to put everything to bed then. Indeed. I'm gonna march my way up this way and take a look down the hallways. You got it. The 120 <laughs> billion dark vision. Hell yeah. Yeah. One twenty billion. Guys, field of vision is yes. Okay, so Kai's I look to everyone. I look to everyone else in the party. You all head upstairs. Let me give. Uh, uh, we all head upstairs. You have the whistle, whistle, right? Ugh. I'll do. Before we go upstairs, uh, before you go upstairs, blow the whistle. When he approaches, climb so he sees you. All right, let's find the staircase then. It's off to you our will, right, and we will take positions up front. And we will take positions. Uh, that one first. doesn't work. No, the ladder's broken. Ladders, we have to go are to the up right. Fine. Uh, can uh, that big swollen bastard get up ladders? <laughs> He fucking somehow squeezed his ass through fucking small staircases. If he barely got up the not. stairs, I think we should just go to the stairs. I was going to say, because the last time we went up the ladders, he couldn't follow us. Mm. So now we want him to follow us. We should take whatever is easiest for him to traverse. Okay, then I guess we head down this way, correct? Yeah, mm -hmm. to the right. Correct. All right, so take us... Uh, I, just for the sake of expediency, take us to that uh, staircase on the other side, please. You got it. I'll reveal it. Ha! Stairs. Oh, oh my Pop. goodness. As you guys are moving through the hallway, once again, that miasma making its way around, work begins to tremble again. And you see images of guards fighting off a somewhat larger looking king of Eastonvale with only a few bodies tied to him. And you watch as one of them fires an arrow, the king grabs him by the throat and then just pulls him into his mass. Oh, and the vision fades. Oh. Alrighty, so we'll head up. Okay, you guys head up the stairs. Uh, we'll head up, Milo, I guess you'll blow the whistle mm -hmm. as loud as you fucking can and then head up here with us. Before that, just a quick question. You said these visions kind of form out of the miasma? They seem to be a cocktail of Wark's latent magic and this miasma that's remaining. Okay. Yeah, this will be a lot easier for us to traverse than mm -hmm. tight corridors. So I'm, I'm going to say Milo's going to blow the whistle then. Oh, everyone get in the position that you want to get in first. First of all, let yes, me describe the space for you because it's changed. Oh. Where there was once a tremulous swirl, almost like the eye of a hurricane, now to your horror stands a chute, a wall of fog, not too dissimilar to the wall that surrounds Eastonvale that now surrounds Eastonvale Keep. And raining down from the sky is rain. And crackling thunder unnatural. There's a strange stillness to the space. I think coming to the roof was a good idea. So Actually, then... Do you think maybe that I should blow the whistle down here in the bigger staircase where the throne room is? Aye, maybe. We'd be in a much wider area. I like that plan. Just scoot on over. Everyone good? I say, I say we take a position around here. That's just me, though. I'll likely take a position. No, you're right. You're right. 
I'll I'll just run behind uh, as soon as I do the thing. Because he's not. If he does follow us from behind, where we're we're not facing the staircase, he'd have harder time getting up there because that's the busted up staircase. Oh, guys, uh, before before we do this, can you just have a peek inside the keep right there? Make sure nothing weird happened inside. We don't want to get jumped by two by two fronts. So go inside the center point. Uh, just I'm I'm curious if there's anything that may have happened inside of this. If we it's just like a, fight, just, I'm gonna be mad. I don't just like a little peek inside. All right. As you look inside, you hear a bunch of squawking and screaming. As you see, almost as if rattled, all of those skeleton birds currently flapping about, screeching in a frenzy. Yeah, we're gonna close that door. <laughs> 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 We're just going to close that. Yeah. As you stand there, once again, you see Wark kind of shake and shimmer. And all of you see standing right here, the king and someone looking who looks a little unsavory. Not, not worm tongue, but someone else kind of garbed in darkened leathers and a hood. And you see the king talking to him and his voice is almost warbled and distant as if from a different time or different place. And as the king speaks, he says, kill one or two. I have no issues with killing priests. After all, everything that exists within this country is mine by divine right. Far more divine than them. And the image <sighs> fades. Oh, oh, you I was fucker. furious. What a well, fucking asshole. Until now, I was giving King Isaac the benefit of the doubt, but... I will say, I, Otho, roll an intelligence check as, an, as a mastermind rogue. Oh boy, intelligence check. Here I go. That. Yeah. Uh, six. Yes, I'll give you advantage. I feel generous for this. Yes. <laughs> six. <laughs> Very sorry. You could also just tell me. I could. You know what? Just tell him. I'm just going to tell, gonna tell you. Fuck it. Hey! Otho, do you remember talking to Gertrude where Gertrude said she left? Lynn and her were part of the same clergy, and then she left due to problems. Oh. Kill one or two, I don't care. And the sort of face that Gertrude gave you correlates these two things. Mm. Oh. Otho just sort of begins to load his crossbow with a bit more purpose now. All right. Got that whistle ready? Uh, above game, do we all want to have held actions I was just for Winnie appears? Uh, I would uh, like to hide. Go ahead. Go ahead and roll a self check. Sure. Held action. Uh, tur held action. Go giant. <laughs> oh my god. Of course. That only lasts a minute. You might want to wait on that. Oh, hold action. Well, how do you now want a game? What? <laughs> oh my god. You know what? Take Otho. Otho is so incensed by yes, that realization that he he can't bring himself to stay hidden like a coward. He needs to deliver this justice like a man. Also, Marty, I was about to say. I I, yeah, I was action. an idiot. Disregard, disregard. <laughs> I was being a moron. Uh, as, and he as, steps out of his cover. Uh, for Milo, after his held action will be his transformation as well. And I'm going to ready a guiding bolt for when I see the king. I will have my halbert ready, so that means that not only do I grow to ten feet, but also I have ten foot reach with that thing. So I does that technically mean I can hit a twenty? Uh, well, no, I from, think it just from, increases from a five foot your reach by from a five foot standpoint. From a five foot standpoint, I, I think it just increases your reach by five, so it doesn't double it. Yeah, so I would technically I would. If it if it states it increases your reach, you increase your reach by that amount, but you don't. It doesn't double or anything like that. And the ability has. So to I have a so I have a reach of ten, but the fact is is that I grow to ten. So that yeah. and my weapons grow. Your reach with is me. still it's still ten still from 10 whatever from square you occupy. Yeah. Right, right, right. But uh, but if I was still five, that technically means I reach a twenty. But yeah. 
Um, I'm gonna blow the whistle, money, and I'm just gonna kind of get back here. Actually, no. First things first. Uh, right before I do all that running and whatnot, I'm gonna touch guys on the shoulder. Bring justice, and uh, you're gonna get protection from good and evil. Thank you. All right, gonna blow the whistle, and I'm gonna run back to get space, and then have my action Gondor ready. calls for aid. I just blast that whistle. The shrill whistle shrieks over the rooftop, echoing in this giant cylinder of fog. And in response, you hear whispers, laughing, cackling, screams of agony, screams of joy. The same sort of churning barrage of information, the rain, spills out onto the floor in front of you. Lightning <laughs> crackles. And as all of you kind of stand there at the ready, Carolyn enters your mind. <laughs> A crash of lightning strikes the top of the veil piercer. And standing atop the pillar, you see staring down at you, unsurprised due to him activating his lair action. The King of Eason Vale staring down at you. And unlike before, an empty visage of just bemoaning instead now belies a rage, a roiling fury. And I'd like everybody to roll for initiative, please, as he leaps from the ceiling and crashes down before you. Because it's his oh, lair and because you've evoked his rage, unfortunately, your held actions do not go off. Oh. And I would like everyone to roll initiative, please. 14. 11. 13. Sixteen. Man, we 18. are really out of position. <laughs> oh, the rain! Alrighty. Oh boy, oh boy. Now he has his whole kit. Because you pissed him off real bad. Well, I mean, really. <laughs> You blew a whistle. We pissed him off one, because we blew the whistle. We pissed pet him off team. because we did something. He, he fucking hates Hokef more than anything. Oh. I was about to say, though, his one pet peeve, blowing whistles. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Kai, he scam. Yep. Oh, I was like, what? Okay. <laughs> what do you want? Guys. Come the fuck on, my initiative blows. I gotta fix this. Okay. I mean, you've got the. We've all almost all have the same initiative. Yeah, the I fighter. I'm gonna give magic items specifically just to fucking make sure my initiative is always in. That's the one thing I like about Pathfinder 2nd Edition. You can use whatever you want for initiative. Yeah, that's mm. awesome. I, I, think I that's fucking really love that point. rule. Alrighty. As the king lands down on the ground in a splash, rising to his full height. Kai, it is your turn. Uh, cool. I'm completely out of position. Um, I'm going to go one, two, three. Uh, no, wait. Let's go. I was here. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to get there. Uh, and I am going to ready an attack if he comes around this corner. You got it. You hold action to attack with what mm -hmm. weapon? Uh, rapier. You got it. Oh, chat can't hear the music again. Oh, no. That oh, was no. your message from earlier. Yeah, no chat can hear. Probably an old message. Probably an old message. Yep. Alright. That ends Kai's turn. Eastcan, it is now your turn as the king lulls his head and turns towards all of you with more purpose. Kind of bolstered by uh, the feelings that he had after drinking the potion, uh, 
he is going to uh, activate his starry form you as got a bonus it. action. Uh, and I will unleash a starry form bolt. Oh, wait, oh, that's damage. That's great. Damage. I needed you to roll attack. So sorry. <laughs> Where is it, Max? Why is it gone from my list? What? Sorry, I don't know what happened. D&D &D Beyond, like, deleted the attack roll. All right, it should so be under actions spell attack. tab. Yeah, it's not there. It's you gotta just click, gone. You gotta click the, the to hit part, not the damage part. It's not there. Oh, uh, weird. Yeah, roll it's, a d20 so and It's a ranged add... spell attack, so I'm just gonna so, roll Ice Knife. Yeah, roll Ice Knife, hit. you can use that. Oh. Uh, that's a 25 oh. 25 hits. I'll honor the 12 points of damage as well. Ooh, let's okay. go. You're going to need it. You fire off the starry blast Gosh. and it strikes him. What type of damage is this? Is this? It is radiant damage. Should be radiant, okay. yeah. Guiding bolt is yeah, radiant. It's, it's not guiding second. bolt. Oh. But it is radiant damage. Is a starry Wait, one bolt. One second to do math here. Okay. You um, let loose the arrow and it strikes one of the bodies in the shoulder and the king does not falter at all. He takes the damage, but he does not seem to care as he stares you down, Eskan. A solid hit, doing a decent amount of damage to him. Um, cool. Uh, as that was a bonus action, uh, the stars of Eskan's constellation on his head crest will glow slightly brighter, as will his eyes, as he meets the king's gaze, and I will cast Guiding Bolt. You got it. Oh, that's a 17 to hit. 17 hits for 17 radiant for damage. For 17 more radiant damage. Fucking hell, bro. He glow. He's glowing too, yeah. Sorry, one second. I gotta do math here real fast. Oh, good. All righty. As you blast him in the shoulder with the radiant bolt, his entire form begins to glow. And without saying a word, but meeting the king's gaze, that will be Eskin's turn. You got it. All righty. Let's see here. Hmm, he's got a lot of options here. Sorry. Yeah, he's gonna do that. The king leaps into the air and slams down on the ground. Water sprays across the battlefield. With six hands, he clenches his massive sword and does a large sweeping swing. Uh, and he is going to hit both Milo and Iskan with this as you're is, both within 10 feet of him. Is this an attack? It is an attack, technically. Cool, he's getting solar flared. All right. But I think that only applies to me. It's only applying to you, so I'm gonna start with the roll for E scan. That is definitely gonna hit. That's a 25. That will hit. You take E scan. Uh, seven points of slashing damage. And with disadvantage on a sweeping attack, uh, that is going to be a 16 to hit you. That just meets my armor class. You swing around, flash in the air, and as it just strikes the center of your chest, it finds no purchase. The king is going to do his second attack. Oh boy, we multi-attacking. As he brings up the claymore and brings it down with a heavy slam against you, Milo. As he's going to go for a claymore slam. I need you to make a dexterity saving throw for me, please. Oh boy, I'm terrible at those. Uh, 19. Ooh. You're good. You're going to only take half of this. Oh, let's go. Oh, thank God. Uh, you take seven points, which is halved. As he does an overhand slam attack, you dodge out of the way, but your arm is clipped and blood begins to splatter across the floor. Seven total? Seven total. Mine. Okay. Mine. That ends the king's turn. Gaius, it is now your turn. 
soul bad guy dragon install. Make me big. All right. Choo -choo 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 -choo. Keep yourself alive. Starts playing. Let's go. All right. Get ready. It's gonna. It's gonna be a. It's gonna be a doozy. I am switching to my great axe. You got it. I need to first attempt to hit this motherfucker. Let's try. I, before I add flavor, I want to see if it connects. You have advantage because of Guiding Bolt. Mm -hmm. Fuck yeah. 17. Yay. 17 hits. Cool. Great. Now before, I'm going to roll damage, but then I'll say the flavor because I want to do something else. Uh, now, correct me if I'm wrong, and I know we've said this before, but please bear with me. Action Surge is, in fact, for free. Correct. It's not it going to cost yeah. you an action in your action economy. Correct. Excellent. Yeah, it's so just a thing. Slashing, slashing seven. Seven slashing damage. You got it. One second. Oh. Right. Yep. You slash into him, cutting off one of the arms that then kind of twitches and flails on the ground. Excellent. Uh, action surge. Do it the fuck again. You got it. Twenty-five. Oh. Twenty-five uh, hits. Noise. Thirteen slashing. Ooh. Ooh. Now, for my reaction, because I can do this, I am going to proc my stone giant rune. I need him to make a wisdom saving throw. Wisdom saving throw, you got it. He needs to beat a, let me double check for you. He needs to beat a 13. You got a 16, I'm so sorry. That's fine. I grab. Still, two solid hits as you slash into him, slicing off one of his arms, but another one kind of <laughs> comes out and grabs the sword. I'd like to imagine he goes to look where the weapon was, and he looks down, but then looks up as Gaius looks down at him with the axe bearing in his fucking, like, side of his of his body. Pick on someone your own size. <sighs> also, Connor, you are breathing into your microphone. That is turn. So Alrighty, that Wait! Ends. Wait! Hold up! Uh, I forgot! Uh, Giant's might! Oh. Yep, yep, yep. Roll that additional damage. I could it could mean a lot. Four. Not bad. Four. Alrighty, that brings us to uh the end of Gaius's turn. The king is gonna take a legendary action. He is going to manifest wizard. You watch once again as the form of Mervin bursts out from his back and is going to release a barrage of magic missiles. Ooh, you are closer to... Ooh, actually, all three of you are close. Uh, to Escan, Milo, and Gaius. Is okay. that... Like... I'm sorry to ask again, because I know I ask every time. With ranged spell attacks in melee, what's it's the not rule a, on it's that? Not it a, is it's not a range spell attack. It's completely different. It automatically hits. Yep. Yeah, magic missiles Oh, right, because there's no to hit. Missile. Okay, yeah. gotcha, gotcha, no gotcha. There's gotcha. no to hit for it, so... You just automatically take the damage. So, Eastcan, you take five points of force damage. Dias, you take two points of force damage. Milo, you take four points of force damage as an explosion of magic missiles erupts from his back and the corpse kind of then descends back inside of the king. Can I flavor that Gaius' head lurch back, but then it fucking cracks forward? He ate the magic missile. <laughs> you got it. Still hurts though. Your teeth are a little. Cracked. Oh no, it hurts. But I, 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 it's the broken spirit that counts at this point. Alrighty, Otho, it is now your turn. It's All right. Show now. Otho's uh, eyes narrow into a scowl as fur begins to cover a majority of his body. He kicks off his boots as his uh, legs become digitigrade, and he enters his shifted form. You got it. Beast mode! And I'm going to run over here, crossbow ready, and I'm going to shoot at him. You got it. Are these the fire arrows or the normal ones? Those, uh, those are arrows, not bolts. Oh, yeah. got it. Different ammo type. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Crossbow. Here we go. That should hit. That's a oh, 22. Yeah. That absolutely hits. He's going to be taking... Oh, 
19 points of damage. Ooh. One sec, I gotta do math again. You strike true into the eye of one of the faces that then recoils and brings up its arms to kind of block the pain as the king somewhat falters in his step. He has taken a lot of damage this turn. And then Otho's gonna let the crossbow sit on the ground as he pulls his saber free. That brings us to Milo. It is now your turn. Get him. Just completely covered in blood at this point, but just so infuriated at the sacrifice of other clerics. His eyes flash bright and his wings unfurl. Do I have my flight, Monty? You do have your flight. Cool. I'm going to go five back and 25 up. I'm going to advise you not to fly into the giant fog wall, though. You're smart well, how, enough to know that, that is bad news. How tall is the wall? It is the edge of where the castle is, so you basically can't, like, go off the castle's roof, basically. Don't you can go, go up and down. Ring. I'm yeah, just going go up. Out of the ring. He's no, going no, I'm up. going up. Yeah, you're I'm good. going up to put the difference. With nothing left, much else I could do, Milo pulls out one of the five healing potions, downs it with his eyes f flaring brighter, having getting rejuvenation back, his hand starts just burning. So uh, let me roll that pot heal. Go ahead. Uh, let's see here. So Pretty six good. plus four, so that's 10. Uh, it's two. It's plus two because these oh, are plus two. Excuse me. Excuse me. Yeah. Uh, right. You don't have Willow. You don't get the good shit. You deal with the peasant garbage. Whatever. It still. It still does what I need still to do. Still good. And yeah, his his right hand is just gonna start charring, and I'm calling turn. You got it. Start of the turn order. The veil allies with its king. You watch as some of the fog begins to forge and form around the king. He gets healed. That amount. You watch as the hand on the ground kind of is brought back and pulled into his body as he heals himself. Cool, how do we kill this guy? <laughs> I'm working on it. <laughs> <laughs> how do we kill this guy? <laughs> how do we kill this guy? <laughs> Alrighty, Kai, it is now your turn. Having seen that, will you allow me to roll some kind of check to identify what that is and if it can be neutralized? Uh, I'll say bonus action, you can. Sure. Um, be a hard check, though. Religion Arcana of your choice. How does an 18 work? 18 works pretty well. Necrecta's here. She's watching this, and she's helping him. Your okay. ties were severed, but his weren't. Got it. All right. All righty. Oh, man. You have your um, action. I'm going to move. That screwed up my action economy, so I'm going to move here. I'm going to full defense this turn. Um, and he's going to call out. If any of you have that holy water, it would work well against the Krekta! And that'll be turn. All righty. That brings us to East Canada. It's now your turn. Uh, he's hurting a little bit, but undeterred. I'm going he was, to... He was hurting. Now he's looking kind of okay again. No, Not e fully, but... Oh, E-scan. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah you're hurting. Uh, he is going to swing around here, kind of dodging and ducking out of the, the barrage of arms. Uh, and I am going to Thunder Wave him. Okay. Uh, how big is Thunder Wave? It's 15 foot square in front of me. In front of you. 50 foot you're cube, gonna, rather. You're gonna catch guys. Nope, oh, it's not actually, diameter. It's a 15 foot cube. Yes, it does this. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And he would be going straight back from me. So let's do here then, so that way it doesn't hit anybody. It doesn't hit anybody where I put it, except the king. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Neither one. Sorry, apologies. I'm still not feeling 100%. I appreciate okay. your patience, no, you're good, please. You're good. I'm sweating. Uh, okay, that that hits. I mean, to make a Constitution saving throw for that. Yes, DC 14. Okay. Uh, that is going to be a 25. 
All right, so he will take he half is, of that damage. He's very meaty, is what that tells yeah. you. As you Chunky. let off the blast, it's kind of like like there's somewhat of a ripple effect on the flesh, but he does still take six points of damage. And... Uh, probably Milo and Otho will notice. Uh, for my bonus action... I'm going to expend another oh, no. use of. <gasps> oh, hey, we, we did it! it. Hey, we win! <laughs> we got it! <laughs> I expended a bonus action to delete the king. <laughs> Excellent. Sorry, I. You can just control Z, Monty. Yeah. There you go. He was right there. Sorry. I accidentally deleted him when I deleted your cube as well. Um, yeah. Uh, I will be burning a, uh, another wild shape uh, and. Uh, Milo and Otho will notice the D-shaped constellation uh, on Iskan's fin starts to rotate uh, so that the curve of it is pointing straight down and there's a straight line at the top. So now the constellation, rather than resembling a D or perhaps a bow, uh, now resembles maybe a bowl or chalice. And that will be the end of my turn. You got it. At the end of Iskan's turn, it is now the king's turn. The king leaps into the air, out of nowhere, jumping massively in the air, landing next to you, Gaius, and you, Kai. As the water splashes into your face, he then spins around once more as he goes for a claymore sweep. First is going to be on you, Gaius. Yep. Uh, Jesus Christ. Uh, that is going to be a 24 to hit. No, it doesn't. Uh, I don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> Solid. I put up my force field. I have a shield. Uh, I've constructed you take additional six pylons. Six points you of slashing damage. Okay. Ooh. Kai. Yeah. Dear Lord, that was almost a natural 20. That was kind of scary. Uh, that is going to be a soft 20 to hit, though. Uh, Kai is going to quickly pull out a scroll, Clipeum Valenthea, and cast shield. So no, fuck your life. The sword kind of stops king. like halfway through your shield, and the king lets out a roar Ooh. towards you. You watch Spell as scrolls. on his... You watch as on his back that guard comes out and aims a shot towards you, Milo, and is going to let loose an arrow on you, Manifest Archer. Let's go, Scrub. I'm swole. Uh, that is going to be a 22 to hit. Okay. Oh, no, he got me. <laughs> it's fine. I'm not deterred. That is going to be seven points of piercing damage to you. All right. That ends the king's turn. That brings us to Gaius. It is now your turn. Let's see if I hit before I add flavor. With a 16. Wait, 16. wait. 16. Does he still have... Do I still have advantage? No, it was only no, once. No, because that was because... It was, uh, it was just the one turn? Okay, yeah, so then 16. Yeah. 16 hits. Excellent. Also, so, Connor, your mic is picking you up. I'm very sorry. Let's do some damage real quick. So nine, nine plus six. Oh my god, that 15. hurt him. I need him to make me a... Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. Sorry, I lost the page because roll 20 is wigging the shit out. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. Uh, the target takes an extra 2d6 and must succeed a strength saving throw. I am proccing a fire rune. So okay. he's taking... He is taking an extra 2d6 fire, and then I need him to make a strength saving throw. All right, go ahead and roll the fire damage. Nine fire damage. Nine fire damage. He got a uh, 27 on his strength saving throw. He is very strong and very meaty, unfortunately, but he does take nine additional fire damage. He's starting to look rough and haggard as the burnt flesh kind of flays off of his body. You see him kind of gasping and panting, sweeping his sword around. When he when he went to scream at at Kai, 
Gaius puts the fucking the blade the blade end into his side and then when he when he like fucking like turns to look at Gaius he kicks the blade into it harder and that's where the fire kicks in you got it <sighs> the smell of charred meat and burnt hair fills the air along with the sort of metal tang of the rain and that's turn all righty at the end of your turn he is going to manifest arrow as his legendary action. He's going to fire another shot at you, Milo. All right. Uh-oh. Jesus Christ. 24 to hit. Mm-hmm. Uh, where's that place? There it is. Ooh, this is going to hurt. Uh, that is going to be eight points of piercing damage as a second arrow streaks to the air and slams you in the stomach. That ends his legendary action. Otho, it is now your turn. Otho will look to his brother as he as he calls out uh, that they need the, the that they need the Hoketh holy water. He looks up. I had some, but I used it to make the make the potion. And he looks to yep. his, he looks in his breast pocket and he looks to the vial and he looks That's up what to he King meant. Isaac. Brother, I had that. Let's go! I knew you would know what I meant. And he's going to take a. He he's going to keep his distance slightly. Um. Yeah. Uh. He's going to move about here. And he's going to pull out one of his daggers and he's going to throw it at King Isaac. You got it. Uh Here we go. That's <laughs> a natural see. fucking 20 baby. Let that go. Hits. Wait for it to oh. load on my end. Mm -hmm. Oh. Come on, Screenshot roll 20. It. Send it to Monty. Come on, roll 20. I believe you. I believe you. It's just roll 20's thinking yeah, real hard up, about it. I can pull up D&D Beyond's chat log. If need be, but... Uh, it's taking its sweet-ass time, but it that really is... is. Um, that is four... Uh, hang on. Is I need to roll an additional D4. Yeah, I just saw oh, that. Well, well, oh, there it oh. is. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> hit it. Hit there it. it is. All right, it I'll is. just hit this. Yeah, just, just hit it. Yeah, it makes it easier. Well, this is going to hurt. I hit it. Oh, for fuck's sake. There we go. Did it apply well, the it... crit? No, I don't it think did it not. Did. No, it did not. So double so... your sneak attack and double your damage die. So a d4 and then your sneak attack. And then an additional 2d6. So... It, so that was that custom roll, oh. that custom roll was the additional d4 so that's seven piercing damage and then uh, an additional 2d6 an additional seven piercing damage so seven plus, plus seven is 14. Uh, As you... so so nine 19 total no right? it's it's seven plus 12 so which 19. is 19. Yeah. Where are, you, where are you getting the 12 from? The from original my other sneak five attack damage. The original roll. Oh, the original roll. Right, 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 yeah. right, right. So that's in total is how much? 19 points of damage. 19 points of damage. That's additional five. Okay. He is looking rough as you throw out a dagger and it stabs him right in the forehead, knocking his crown to the ground, which skitters across the wet stone roof of... Eastonvale Keep, and you see his body kind of slack a little bit as he kind of feral like goes on all fours and kind of snarls towards you. Then, as a bonus action, I'm going to use my Master of Tactics. Kai! I need him on his knees! I need access to his mouth! And that'll be my turn. Uh, bonus right. action help to Kai. You got it. That brings us to Milo. It is now your turn, as you got two giant arrows stuck in you. I am down to two HP. He is staggered in that air. 
but he slowly brings his head up, staring that king right in the eye, uncorks one more pot, slams it down for that bonus action. You got it. All right, so... 2d4 plus 2. Nine. Nine. Pretty good. One down from full. And from with all of his wrath burning from his hand, he just shouts out, Thea! Then casts Scorching Ray. You got it. Ah, uh, well, that's one. The first one shatters against the ground and misses, unfortunately. Number two. Come on. Oh Ugh. my god. The second and one, he deflects with his sword. Number three. Oh my god. And the third, he catches with one of his free oh. hands and looks up at you in defiance of the gods. All right, um, that's turn. That brings us to the top of the turn order. You watch as the fog around the castle coalesces towards him. And while he was staggering on his feet, you watch as he rises back up to a knee. Hi, it is now your turn. I have a question. Yep. It's a bonus action to use an item that you have, like a potion. For if a potion I... only. It, so it would not count for the vial. Uh, I will say it's an enemy technically, so that will take an action. You are going to have to compete with him. This is a grapple check to even try and force this into him. Got it. Um... I have advantage on an attack, but I can give advantage back to. Okay. Um. Mama, mama, mama. You know, it's almost like we have a grappler in the party. Here's what I'm gonna do. Uh. Kai is going to hold his hand up towards the sky, uh, and he is going to call out as he looks like he's trying to pull from the dark energy that is emanating around all of us. He's gonna call out. Umbra, and he's going to pull a shadow blade from the darkness into his hand as he casts shadow blade. All right, as it as the lightning crackles and snaps, the silhouette made clear as a vicious blade forms in your hand. Gaius, get his mouth open for my brother! And he's going to now take a swing. You Let's... got it. You are flanking, so you have plus two. And I have advantage, An advantage. from Broski. An advantage, yeah. Here we go. Uh, advantage might help. We have plus uh, two. 14. 14 is his AC. You just Let's oh, go. Wow. Let's fucking go. Seven points of psychic damage. Ooh, he's not immune to that either. As you nope. slice into him, he lets out a wailing cry as you strike through one of his arms and it splatters to the ground, and he kind of staggers back in fury and anger. You want to dance with the dark arts? Then bring it! And that'll be turn. All right, that brings us to Eastgen. It is now your turn. Uh, having witnessed Milo get hit by a bunch of arrows, uh, Eastgen's going to look up at him and shout, keep going, we've almost got it. And I am going to cast Healing Word. Hooray! Woo! Take a sippy. I need uh, it. You're going to get seven HP back. Sick. And as a result of the chalice being active, mm -hmm. uh, I can also heal myself for 1d8 plus four hit points. Jeez. So I will get six HP back. Nice. Oh my God. As uh, Milo, the healing uh, healing word spell will hit you and you'll see a brief thread of glimmering blue light link back along the pathway to Iskan's casting hand. And he will, you'll also see him kind of rejuvenate. Neat. Also, I have a question, Monty, just cause I didn't hear it. Mm-hmm. Did he say like line like Caroline or Kai? Mine. Oh, He's saying mine, mine, mine said. now. Okay. Got it. Good to know. Alrighty, you scan that ends your turn. That's all I can do. Wait, is healing word a bonus action? Yes. It is a bonus action. Healing yeah. word is a bonus action. Well, poop. That's right. 
Uh, cool. Oh no, you can do things. I can still <laughs> oh, do stuff. Uh, I will move over here. And as I do, pulling out uh, Mira's staff, I'm gonna once again go for the old two hand thwack. Go for it. Let's see Fuck if em. I can actually do damage with the book. Let's go! 12. Yeah. Well, you hit him, but he doesn't really feel it, unfortunately, as you the smack the smile. back of one of the faces. I rolled max damage I'm and so didn't sorry. hit it. Took zero of it. <laughs> You're never going to do damage it's with never that gonna staff. Happen. It's not going to happen. You uh, hit uh, one of the faces on his back and like arms reach up to like, like, kind of like as you smack in one of their noses, but the king himself does not feel that, unfortunately. For the sake of flavor... Um, Isgun is doing this to kind of uh, give a moral boost to everybody. Like, no, we've got this. We're still in the fight. Keep yeah. going. All right. And that'll be turn. It is now the king's turn. The king, gripping his sword with five hands, spins in a circle, which is going to hit Gaius, Iskan, and Kai. That's fine. I have... Kai, Kai still has um, protection from good and evil still. No, Wait, Gaius. Was no, that was Gaius. Gaius, Gaius, Gaius. Gaius. Sorry, yeah, Gaius. Gaius. Brain. Gaius. I wish I had that, but I don't. <laughs> Still pretty good. That's going to be a 17 to hit you, Gaius. With the Damn. Stage. By one. Oh. oh I'm so sorry. Uh, you take... Oh, he's, he's a heavy hitter, to be fair. You take five points of slashing damage. Minimum damage. Second sweep on you, E-Scan. Cocked. Roll. Uh, that is going to be a 15 to hit, E-Scan. That will hit. You take, uh, six points of slashing damage. You're healing. Sorry. And then it's last cool. one on you, Kai. That's not a thing. Uh, mm. that is going to be a 21 to hit, you, Kai. Ow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You take, uh, six points of slashing damage as he just okay. spins in a massive circle. He is then going to leap onto that side as he leaps up into the air with inhuman height and slams down and lifting up his claymore, he slams it down. I need E-Scan and I need Kai to make dexterity saving throws for me oh, as he God. has a claymore slam. How long is Kai that sword? Or Gaius? Fucking huge. Uh, it's E-Scan and Kai because he's okay. aiming it in this direction. He's not aiming it at Gaius. Got it. You said dexterity saving throw? Dexterity saving throw to that's jump out five. of the way. That is a failure. That's fine. Hit me with your best uh, shot. That's an 11. That is also a failure, unfortunately. That's fine. We're good. Hang in there. Uh, that is going to be 11 points of damage to both oh, Eskin and Kai as the sword <laughs> slams down on the both of you and the rainwater spreads as if the parting of the waters. Eskin is down. He's no! And so his starry form will end. Wait. That ends. Wait, am I? Genuine question. This is, is when you're unconscious, are you considered incapacitated or just unconscious? You incapacitated are in, as well. You're incapacitated. incapacitated. Okay. Well. So yeah, it will end. Concentration. Yeah, everything it's ends. It's not when concentration, you're it just will end. Oh. Alrighty. That ends the king's turn as they then turn and look towards the rest of you. That brings us to Gaius. It is now your turn. Well, the idea was to hold him still, so I'm going to fucking honor that. Let's see if I first hit him before I flavor. You got it. Uh, Come on, baby. Here I go. Yes! Ooh! That hits. That definitely hits him. I want him to feel a jaunt as he tries to pull the blade back. Gaius begins to mutter something. He looks up. He's digging the blade into him further. I can actually feel this! I am, at first, second winding. You got it. That is... Yeah! Nine. Nine. Pretty bad. good. Also, nice. Connor. Connor, your microphone is still picking you up a little bit. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Deep. So now with that free hand, I get to do... Oh, well, hold on. One extra 1d6. 
I can feel this punch for. Uh, and now I get to do my funny grapple, and because I am I am under the proc of giant's might, oh, this right, has advantage. Didn't. So you did. Sorry, I just want to. You did the ram attack. Well, it, I meant to do unarmed. But it's basically. The oh, same okay. Thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So D four plus your strength mod, which is or D six. It's one D six plus four, D6 and then four. giant's might with another four, which is mm -hmm. another four. Okay. Okay. Oh, it, didn't, right. it didn't actually go off. I'm sorry. I thought. Yeah, I, I was. I was a little on, confused. Hang on, hang on, hang on, there hang we on. go. Okay. Six. So it's ten. So it's six. That's so ten points of damage, which is good. As you just full on headbutt the king, his head wrenches into his body, and his entire form splashes onto the ground on his back as he is unmoving. Hang on now. <laughs> Pause. Hang on now. Now hold on a second. Because I wasn't done yet. Because I have Giants Might proc all strength checks I make have advantage. Guess what I'm doing with an athletics check? You don't have to make a check. He's down. Ooh. But he's not at, out. As you notice, kind of coming out of his hands, like his body, you see as you kind of grapple him with no check necessary, assuming that's what you want to do, you kind of put him yep. in a headlock. You watch as these sort of like tendrils on his arms, almost like puppet strings, kind of begin to lift his arms up and his head up. But he is unconscious right now, but seems like he will not remain so for very long. Whatever you plan to do, do it fast! On is that turn, in your turn, Gaius? Uh, I'm act. yeah, that's my turn. I am basically, right. I'm grappling him, so yes. You got it. At the end of your turn, he cannot take a legendary action because he is technically incapacitated. Unconscious is kind of a vague term, but he is not moving. Uh, Otho, it is now your turn as Gaius has the king in a headlock and his head is lulled, empty-eyed. As you can see, something trying to pull him back into consciousness, these dark tendrils on his body. Otho reaches into his jacket pocket and pulls out the remaining vial of that elixir we just made not moments ago. He looks into his reflection. He sort of strokes it with his thumb, then looks up at the king. I hope this saves you too. And he's going to run over, pop the cork on it, and he's going to dump the contents into the king's mouth. You wretch open the bottom jaw of the king and thrust in the potion bottle, smashing, I imagine Gaius, you wrench shut his mouth and pull his head back. And as you do, a horrible sound. All of you are going to take damage from this, except for you, you stand because you're unconscious right now. Whoa. As the entire <laughs> wall of fog lets out a chorus shrill of pain. You all take two points of thunder damage as you all clasp your hands over your ears, except for you, Gaius, as yeah. you're holding the king. But you flatten your ears as the entire wall shrieks and screams. You see hands birthing from the sky, writhing inside, curling, kind of like recoiling from pain of which they cannot escape. The king kind of wretches free of your grasp, Gaius. You let go as a burning sensation hits your arms. The king stands up on his feet and you watch as every eye socket, every mouth, every pock and hole in his skin erupts in a bright light. His hands begin to reach forward and scratch at his throat, which tears it open and more light flows out. He steps backwards, kind of bulking and flailing and swinging, shrieking as he then falls off the roof and in a single plummeting fall shatters to the ground and as the light bursts his body into pieces, so too does the fog and the curse of Eason Vale lift, as Eason Vale is finally free. <sighs> he's gone. Oh, he's gone. I'm immediately going to. Yeah, Kai's running him. forward. You kick, the, you kick the crown out of his way and you run to E-Scan, landing with your wings. Immediately, uh, four points of healing. E-Scan, your mind swirls. For the first time, you come back to life without anything trying to pull you to the other side. And as your eyes open wide, you see all of your friends, including a very large Gaius, 
looking Hello. down at you. It's gonna be alright. Uh, my head hurts, but yeah, I, I think I'm fine. He's gone. We did it. We did it, buddy. <sighs> we did. Ah, he's gone. It's over, gentlemen. At least for now. You look up above in the clouds as the rain pitters to a stop. For the first time in years, light pierces the veil. And you watch as all of that miasma that has coated this place like a dark fungus immediately. As all of you stand there helping Iskan back up to his feet, you see in the glowing light a form of a man, a wizard, who you turn to see standing, staring at all of you, and he gives you a nod. As you see behind him a series of guards all looking at themselves in their ghostly forms. Servants all standing in front of you, a massive circle of spirits that were once trapped in their king look to you and they bow to you. Wark skitters out of your giant mane of hair, Gaius, and runs up in front of the wizard and like leaps in there and goes, Wark, Wark, like almost like jumping excitedly like a dog. The wizard kneels down and kind of gently pats Wark. And as all of the spirits look towards you, they smile and nod. And as they fade, you watch as Wark turns back into a scepter and lands on the ground. As you Both look out slowly past, walk over and... As you look out past... No, no, actually, no, you go ahead. Sorry. No, Otha will just slowly walk over to the now objectified Wark and he'll pick it back up. As you all look out over the roof, you now see Isengvale as it's meant to be. Cracks in the cloud line bringing in god rays of sun that drift over the horizon. You can see the far off town of Banyers Bend being touched by the light, the large river that cuts through the country, as well as myriads of forests and birds returning. And for a moment you breathe and there's a sort of calmness until the amount of what you've done suddenly hits all of you and you suddenly feel a little dizzy. <laughs> um, Oh, that's pain. Oh, oh, that's pain. Kaya, <laughs> you're right. Oh, I've never felt so alive. I it's think a that's a good thing. It's a little touch and go there for a minute. Do you guys Gen hear that? I do. It's life. Finally returned. Sounds like Gentlemen, the first time I came to this country. <laughs> that was a long time ago. At least it feels like it. Gentlemen. I, I think we have one more thing to do before we can finally lay the king to rest. And is there is there a space to look over the kingdom from on top of the castle. I mean, right where you are, you can see everything from here, almost. He'll he'll beckon the others to join him. Uh, I would like to join, but can I leave the X behind? Yes, yeah, you may. <laughs> okay. <thank> you. <laughs> it is surrounded. On the Xbox. Surrounded by the people he's been adventuring with for the last couple of months, the people he's shared this undead stasis with for a year people he freed this country with Otho looks over the kingdom he breathes in and he bellows out the old king is dead long live Eason Vale Milo just jumps in long live Eason Vale Stupidly, Gaius gets up on on the rim in his giant form, holding his fists up into the sky. Long live Isenvale! Iskan kind of 
taking a cue from everybody else, will raise both hands out in front of him, cheering to the sky above. Long live Easton Vale! Uh, Kai's going to grab onto the railing, and he's going to scream out, Long live Easton Vale! <sighs> and light is your response. Wouldn't have it any other way. Finally, a story to tell for my for the Odyssey. Wait, wait, we're forgetting something. What about Lynn? Lynn. Lynn. Oh, I didn't uh, forget. Since I am the tallest one, can I peer out in the distance to see if anything's going on in that direction? From this distance, you're not able to pick out details. You're just far too far away. Also, it's Damn. worth noting as the clouds part, there is a very large city that surrounds this castle. Oh. I will actually show you here. Ooh. Oh, shit. Ooh. Oh, because shit. Because now you can finally map. see around. <laughs> map, map, map. <laughs> yeah, map, 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 map. I will reveal to you all of Eastonvale. Oh my god. Oh, oh shit, map. Is this kind of a map gasm? It's definitely. Damn. Oh, there truly Look at is that. no cow level. Let's go. There Jeez. is no cow level. Man, look at the south. That's all craggy. That is Ooh. crazy. Look at the mountains. Natural border. Yup. Two of them. You see all of Eastern Mail as it is. This whole fucking place is peppered with forts. Yep. Can we use war to get back to Lynn? I don't oh. know if it works that way. Wark is not really in a helpful sort of state right now. Well, back Let's to the center get... of, the of the castle, then. That is true. You remember that Lynn told you you can travel back. Yeah, it was tied to the, to the center. center, yeah. You all kind of gather yourselves and make your way down, assuming there's something else you want to do. Grabbing mm. the scepter that you know to be Wark, uh, the scepter of Eastonvale, and you guys kind of make your way down, opening the secret doors, entering inside. And as you place down the scepter as a group, you all say, Pierce the veil! Pierce the veil! Pierce the veil! Pierce the veil! As you all teleport back from where your location was, and as you respawn, you find yourself in a bright green forest, which is almost so different than what you remember. And you see a large statue of the Harvest Men. You remember leaving Lynn there, but you don't see Lynn. She's not there. Uh, Lynn! Lynn! You don't Lynn, we need did to it. shout! Stop yelling! You watch as she hobbles out using her shelf, her, her shovel as sort of a, as a walking stick. She goes, I can tell. I know you did it. And you're all alive. Kai's gonna run over, run over and hug her. So uh, does Iskan. <laughs> so does oh, Milo. Gosh. Okay. <sighs> I'm still giant. I pick up everyone. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. All right. That was not what I expected. Oh, sorry. I put everyone Guys, down. You are oh. still very strong. Oh. You all do I'm this. A back. You're all alive. And you're still here? Like touches, she touches your face. She kind of like goes, you're all alive. Yes, I'm still here, unfortunately. What? So seeing you well balances things out. Well, what do you mean, unfortunately? She kind of looks down towards her own hand. When you killed the king, I thought that it meant that I... things would go back to the way they were in all forms. But I mean, is he, the re is he the reason you're like this? I thought he was. She kind of clenches was... her hand. There's well, more to it than else? that, I feel. <sighs> we did use the concoction we made. We had one vial left and we used it to sever his connection. Yeah, we could make more. Maybe that would help you. Maybe. For now, we should return to the castle before someone else does. Like who? She Any of the you, miscreants Oso. in this country. Well, I'm also expecting company as well. Oh? Oh. You'll see. <sighs> 
Well, can we come? Sh shall we then? And he holds up Wark. Or I guess I, I should call it the Veil Piercer. <laughs> no, no, it's Wark. No, no, it's Wark now. The Wark yep. Piercer. Wark is unexpectable for Veil Piercer. Mr. Wark, warp drive. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. Mr. That LaForge, good. Wark 7. <laughs> Wark 7. <laughs> you all teleport back to Engage. Eastville Keep. Easy enough. And Lynn kind of looks around and she goes, Huh, it looks completely unchanged. Okay. Just don't go to the north. Just I was going to gonna say, <laughs> everyone's just standing in front of the broken stairs, like, nothing behind us. <laughs> yeah, no, nothing yeah. happened. Uh, well, <laughs> um, it doesn't matter then... to me. It's not my castle anymore. It's yours. Wait, what? Uh, speaking of, um, I, I didn't mean to steal this. I, I wasn't sure what state you'd be in, but... And I... Whoa. 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 Hey, One more time, buddy. Lag. One more time. I, I I handed her the crown. Oh, okay. ah. She takes the crown in her hand, looks at it, and she just fucking flings that shit against the wall where it shatters. Oh! oh, oh. Fair reaction. I, I, I do the Futurama Bigfoot nod. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I did not care for the man. From the little glimpses with that we garnered from this... Device, creature, hybrid. Yes. It did not seem like he was a good man, much less a good king. Uh, but I don't understand. If he didn't make a deal to keep you around, then why did he make it at all? I don't know. As There's far as I'm concerned. Oh, go ahead. Go on, guys. No. Well, like the bloody message said on the wall, he's a king who wanted everything. He was. And he was a king who thought he was entitled to everything. No matter what. <laughs> and such is the fall of such men. You know, I wish that was harder to believe than it is. I was Not worried you'd say love makes you foolish, but greed makes you even more of an idiot. Uh, not to necessarily break the flow, but uh, just in case nothing is playing at the moment. I didn't know if you had anything. I know. I turned it off. <laughs> okay. Just making sure. Okay. Sick, sick, sick. Yeah. Greed there... is an utterly detestable thing to have in one's heart. Greed and Necrector go hand in hand. They are bedfellows after all. There's mm. one thing, though, and maybe you might know, Lynn. We saw visions of you and Wormtongue, but there was another man in dark leathers and a, and a dark hood, talking with the king on the roof. We'd never seen him, anyone like that before. What did they say? I don't think we heard anything. It was Maybe. in response to the king, the <gasps> former right. king, talking about uh, killing priests. You watch as Lynn slowly kind of stands up in her full posture, walks over back to the crown, and just starts just hitting it with her <laughs> shovel. She kind of sighs and runs a hand down her hair, and she goes, Yes, that sounds like the assassins that killed some of my friends. Assassins. The king was intrigued by me, to say the least. We were married, after all. It was not of my choice. She kind of looks down, a little ashamed. I did it to save my friends' lives. I did not save all of them. You did save some, though. That's worth something. I suppose. Anyway, what's important is that you are victorious this day. I don't suppose. She kind of looks around the castle. You wouldn't mind someone to keep an eye on this place? A queen's signature, albeit reluctant, is still a valued thing, I assume. I mean, if you're asking I'm... to stay around, you don't need to ask. As far as I'm concerned, this is your house. Mm. Your nose twitches at that. <laughs> and it's a temporary stay. I'm a guest. I like that much better. If nothing else, we could definitely use the help. We, we may have rooted out all the evil in here, but... There's still all the bandits and highwaymen that plague this oh, land. That's yes, right. not all the evil. Not off. all the evil. Oh, where are you going, Mr. I Agni? Turn, I turn the corner. I am running straight to the stable. 
Is he still there? Oh no! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> the ghost horses are still there, yeah. And they're still vibing. Oh! Whoa. Oh my god. Whoa. Well, guys, we're gonna have to go for another hour. It might be a long session. You all thought I was fucking crazy! <laughs> to be fair, I didn't think it was crazy. There's also a carriage okay. there, too, as well. Yeah. Ghost carriage. Oh, you know, shit. It, we'd have to get some armor or, like, at least a sheet. No one's gonna like undead horses roam in their countryside. <laughs> yeah, no. that might freak some people out. There's just, just a horse going around going, Boo. I yes. cannot wait until Esther sees the look on her stupid face when I roll back up home in a coach with nightmares. Oh, yes! I don't think I've ever heard him so happy. I would be happy to. <sighs> I think we deserve it. What we've achieved mm -hmm. here today was monumental. We should consult the vault. There should be money in there that will help us maybe reconstitute the castle. Uh, oh, about that. Uh, yeah. uh, <laughs> no. uh, about that. <laughs> she narrows her eyes and she goes, don't tell me. The vault okay, seems to won't. have been pilfered of... Almost everything. Yes. Ah, that's not good. Hmm. Oddly enough, that is also where we saw that message. What did message? it say again? Uh, blood it on the wall, scroll... yeah. It was scrolled into the wall. It's like, what do you give the man who owns everything? No, is once upon a time there was a man who wanted everything, and what did it cost? Everything he had. Mm, sounds I like him. The two ghost horses. I'm but that... call this one Snoopy and this one Prickly Pete. But that begs the question: Who was doing that? Not all spirits are malevolent. You think something that inhabited the castle left that message? I don't know what else it could be. I wasn't the only one who was so defiant. Wouldn't doubt it. Actually, <sighs> about that, we kind of had a lot of help from the research of someone named Mervyn. Yes, the court wizard. He was a good man. Yes, but apparently the recipe for the concoction that we made wasn't his recipe. Lynn kind of narrows her eyes. Yes, you mentioned this recipe. Oh, here. It... Yes, it was Hoketh holy water, a boiled dragon scale, mithril filings, and... A unicorn. Uh, unicorn. Unicorn horn. Unicorn horn. She looks at the list and she goes, Ah, that... Those are very hard to procure items. The holy water probably being the most common, the mithril, uh, but the I unicorn right horn. Here. Hold on to that. If you get a lot of it, it makes for good armor. She kind of looks at the note and she then reads the like, unicorn horn. That was in the vault. You must have found that. And then, yeah. Hmm. You know, something strikes me. She kind of flips it back and forth. She goes, I've never seen this writing before. Certainly not someone from the castle. She hands it back to you. Yes, but who outside of Eastonville would be this familiar with the magic that took hold of this place? What contacts did Eastonville have with any other countries that had magic? Lynn kind of thinks for a bit, and then she slowly turns and looks at you, Kai. Uh. I didn't do it. Not you, but do you think? Oh, maybe. I, I mean, it, it's possible. Uh, what are we talking about here? Uh, the, I assume we're talking about the raven, the stitched sister. Wait, so they were able to help before... Well, before pretty much everything? Well, I mean, they did say that they were getting cold feet. They just didn't say when. So 
it's possible. I mean, is that right, Lynn? Did I? Get, is it? It's a guess. I don't know. I'm just. It's the only person I can think of at the top of well, my head. Well, we can well, compare handwriting. Has... If what this stitched sister says is true, we can compare this handwriting to the one that's in her book. I was going to say they did say that they needed their spell book, and they would have had to write in that. Hmm. And I think you said we know where to find her, right? Or at I know where to find them, book. and I know where to find the book. Hmm. Well, Lynn kind of, she looks very winded. She looks very tired, but also kind of like, unlike you, or you guys actually feel incredibly alive. Like, you, you feel more alive. Like, obviously, victory is great, but there's something else about drinking that potion that makes you feel, like, genuinely like a human being again. Lynn kind of looks, and she goes... I suppose, then, it's only fair this place is your base of operations for whatever else you intend to do. I suppose I should also explain to you what the Veil Piercer can do, best to my ability and knowledge. It's good yeah, to see we're that all you still have the separate chapter as well. Wark was really helpful. Wark. Who? Wark, the scepter. She kind of looks at you like you have three heads. Huh? It's the noise oh, it's... it made whenever it was leading us around the keep. Yeah, it would always go, work, 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 work. It we just took to calling it that. It took the form yeah. of a small creature. Huh? <laughs> she looks even more confused. Wait, you didn't <laughs> know it could do that? It wasn't mine. It belonged, well, technically belonged to the king, but Mervyn kept it with him most of the time. That's why I was so it's... surprised to see it in my tomb when I died. It seemed to take quite a liking to Mervyn. I wonder if... She kind of thinks for a while. She doesn't want her con it. Okay. I think I know what he did. He might uh, have made... He might have made a pact with it. A sort of familiar pact. Oh? So, now that Mervyn's spirit has moved on... She looks hard is... to work. Work is he's inert. Dor he's dormant at the moment, I assume, but not dead, hopefully. Well, that's good. He might have a spare scroll of fine familiar around. We'd have to go digging through his things. Sorry, did you say he scroll? Several. Mervyn's was a very well-practiced conjurer. He was most interested in the Veil Piercer and was a very well-educated conjurer of his class. He was I also mean, a kindly soul. He made a secret space for me. Yes, we found it. You it actually saved our lives, like, yeah, a lot oh. of times. And about my office, that wasn't my idea. My, my husband, of course, was completely his idea. He was, you know... <clears throat> oh, you're talking about the giant insight? statue? Insight? <laughs> don't need to. I don't need to lying. insight that. Are Her me? cheeks are flush, <laughs> and she's just like, oh, that wasn't my idea. That wasn't my idea. Oh, God, did I write down the names of her dogs? Oh, no. That was uh, so long I ago. might have them. Hang on. Scroll in, scroll in, scroll in. That was so long I have long them written ago. down somewhere, but I don't know where. I'm gonna check. I'm gonna check. Because if I get it wrong, Shell's gonna judge. Uh, <laughs> it's somewhere in my notes. I just don't know where at the moment. I'm trying to see. I do have a question, though. Of course. Who are these guests you have coming to, I guess, our estate now? She looks towards you, Otho, and she goes, don't be mad at me. He re just raises an eyebrow. Is your dad coming Ooh. to visit? No. But I may have, in my ventures, made a bit of a deal with some smugglers. You're talking about the Grey Shroud. Indeed. And I believe you're familiar with her. Her name is Zoe. Yes, she mentioned wanting to uh, defect or something like that. Indeed. We struck a bit of a bargain. She's honestly smart. She caught on to what we were doing, but she yes, wasn't keen I imagine to wanting to get out before everything went to hell. It's a survival tactic, I'm sure. I'm sure she'll provide us more information. She is mm. who I am expecting. She said that she would make haste once the, vo the veil was cleared. 
Macmiran as well is going to hold up in Bounier's Bend until such time it is safe for him to come here as well. If it means all the same, Otho, she's one of my countrymen. I hope you won't be too uh, put off by the fact that I don't exactly care where she's from. In all fairness, Big upside, I mean, upside she down was frown sad. She she was watching us while we slept. If she wanted to do anything, she had plenty of opportunity. She did steal our food as well. She well. has information. Right now, given that I haven't been out of my country in a very long time, the fact that you've been dead for a long time, information is good. Indeed, as long as she can be useful. I think she can. She already has been. She's already provided me with enough information to be worth it. Still, she kind of you watch as Lynn's face kind of sweats a little bit. Without a vault with money, things are going to get interesting. We are now sitting in an empty castle. Hopefully, throughout your adventures, you may find some individuals who may find interest in free residence. <clears throat> well, I can think of at least one. And Iskin's going to look over at Gaius. Maybe we should give Rebu a call. Uh, respond. <laughs> <laughs> Appropriate response. <laughs> We've infiltrated uh. the base. <laughs> bring, bring the Gaius, tanks. they're invisible in the elevator. <laughs> you can't use weapons on that floor, Gaius. Fucking watch me. <laughs> You think love can bloom Gaius. on a battlefield, Gaius? God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> damn it. All right, I call up Rebu and I tell him that, hey, we we stormed East and Vale and succeeded. You hear wind as you suppose. I can tell. I'm on my way right now. Damn. <laughs> well, it looks like we've all got guests coming to, I suppose, our keep. Suppose what does that so. make us? Ab no, it does not no. make us kings. Right? Well, it it makes us absolutely nothing. We're just living here. Lords? No. <sighs> Lords it has to be fine. flowery. You have to understand. <sighs> well, I'll tell you one thing it makes us. People who have a chance to relax for once. Oh, I very much doubt that. At, At least, least not for long. At very least, Lynn says. She kind of walks, and at this point you've all walked inside of the throne room, which you see is in quite a disarray. She kind of walks and looks in towards the throne, and she turns and looks towards all of you. At the very least, it makes you heroes. And as she smiles, and Eason Vale is free of its shackles of darkness, that is where we're going to end the session for tonight. Love it. Oh, Love oh, it. Oh, baby. Vale Keep is yours. And uh, we're not, we're un undead, guys. And you are no Woo! longer technically undead anymore. Let's go. That tie, which is good because if you straight up die, it would have been very bad. bad. <laughs> very, very yes. bad. So. By the way, I have, I, have sil I have silver and Quinn for dog names, if that's correct. Ah, uh, that sounds right. Yeah, because mm. Silver was the Greyhound, and then or not the Greyhound, the Wolfhound, and then Quinn was the Mastiff. It's yeah. oligarchy time, baby. Yeah, oh, oligarchy Jesus. time. Oh my God. So yeah, you guys have a keep. So probably next session, uh, we'll start you guys up when Zoe and Entourage arrive, because I'm sure that's going to be a fun little meeting to have. Also, oh, guys, boy. now we have time to explore the castle. I just want to thank everybody also, for letting me be. Oh, you guys are level four. Oh, oh damn! Shit. Level up! Let's go! And I'm gonna say this: the pace, the pace is gonna pick up quite significantly. Before we before we close out, I want to give you guys some information about the table about what you have now. So, okay. obviously, you have the keep. That is your uh, that is your yeah. your thing. Lynn is Wait, gonna take care of it for you. Lynn is going okay. to be like your Helga. She's gonna manage the keep, all the finances, things like that, and she's gonna What's be in charge Helga? of it. Uh, we, a monster you don't want to think about. Um, nice. <laughs> so, 
basically Lynn is going to be your your base manager. She's going to take care of things when you guys are gone, and she's going to remain here from now on. Um, on top of that, you now have access to the Veil Piercer. The Veil Piercer is a very, very strong item. You also have access to the Scepter of Eason Veil, and this is a very, very important magical item and is going to be pivotal in this game. So first and foremost, the Veil Piercer, which is in the center of Eason Veil, is first of all the birthplace of teleportation spell, meaning that you can now teleport to any major city that you have been to, meaning you can teleport oh, to Marallo. Oh, can my teleport, God. You can teleport to Hearthland Capital, and you can also teleport to the capital of Athol, which is ill-advised because it's currently not in a good state. So, so hold on. Can we, we go over it. those one more time? So we got Athol. You have you have access to Athol's capital. You have access to Marallo's capital. You also have access to Hearthland's capital as well. There's also smaller teleportation circles that Lynn has access to, but those will only show up if it's relevant to what you are doing. So if she knows do we about not, tele Do we not have access to Centralia? Uh, that. <laughs> no, that does not have it. That doesn't have a teleportation circle in it because okay. it's a uh, demon infested. They wouldn't have a teleportation circle in there just because of security reasons, right? That makes sense. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, um, but Lynn does have other teleportation spots, but they will only come up if they are relevant to what you guys are doing. So if you guys are like, we need to go here. Lynn's going to be like, I'll check and see if we have a teleportation circle for that. Just because there is more than that, because it's basically what the king has used. So if the king has used it to teleport somewhere, then you have access to that location. But those locations will not be revealed unless it is specifically relates to a location you are trying so to get to. Basically, it's hard locked until the story dictates. More or less, yes. Um, Got it. That's fine. So okay, basically, cool. if you're like, we need to go to, to Schmumble Land, and Lynn will check and be like, the closest thing I have is this, that is what will be used. Unless hey, Moni, do, I, do I have a map of Schmumble Land? You do not have a map of Schmumble Land. No Damn one does. We're going to work on it, though. We're going to work on it. We're going to get it. Schmumble Land, gonna map it Schmumble out. Land be a fucking theme park in this world? <laughs> <laughs> I hope so. Oh, uh, nothing but Mike in it. Now, here is the scepter. The scepter is incredibly fucking strong. It is a legendary okay. magical item. You can cast Find Familiar on it to turn it into work. It'll turn into work, and work can basically change from a scepter to a familiar, basically. Okay. Um, on top of that, to keep this simple, and because it cannot be abused, um, it can attune to multiple creatures, um, and the creature that it is attuned to, it can teleport. However, it takes that many number of days equal to the amount of attuned creatures to do the teleportation. Now, the biggest thing with this item is I'm going to ask of you is you cannot use this item to teleport out of situations, basically. So, like, if you're, okay. like, you basically have to wait a, at least 24 full undisturbed hours to teleport with a single person um, or with a group of people. You are, like, if you have, like, 10 people who you want to teleport with, you have to wait 10 days to teleport, essentially. Is how Does it that works. include so us if we, since we're already yeah, attuned? You are already attuned, so it's five plus whoever else if you have anybody else with you. So, so if you're like, oh, question. we want to bring... The... Mm. Oh, sorry. I was going to ask, so... does the timer start when we attune people and then it counts? Or is no, it the amount of casting. days it hasn't been used? You okay. have to set it on the ground in a circle. Like, you have to set it down undisturbed and you have to be within the radius of it, which is like an in-room, something like that, or like mm -hmm. a room, for a long period of time to then teleport. <sighs> Now, when you teleport with the scepter from a location, so like say you're in the middle of the woods and you're like, we want to teleport back to our base, you set it down, stay in camp for five days, and if nothing bothers you in that time, it will leave a tracking point, basically meaning you will teleport back to Eastonvale, and then it, with one single action, you can teleport back. Meaning that, hypothetically, if you are like in a town and you need something from your base or need to consult someone like Lynn, you can literally spend five days, teleport back, utilize resources in your keep, and then return to where you were before. It's However, so you long, cannot, so... yeah, you cannot okay. take somebody with you though when you do that. So okay. when you return, so... you have to attune them and then restart the counter and then do that. But you can't like say, place the scepter down, teleport back to your base, and then grab Lynn and take her with you and then teleport back. They have to be. It's only teleporting to Eastonvale Castle that you can bring additional. So whoever comes with us are the only people that can go back uh yes well okay. no it, technically yes uh again it's kind of hard to decipher but basically more or less if you as you, if all five of you go like say we're to travel to hearthland right mm -hmm. and you place yeah. down the scepter and you teleport back and you're like we need to grab stuff you cannot then grab lynn and teleport with her back right because right. So my like question is, let's say let's let's yeah. say we're traveling let's say we're traveling with someone 
So we have yeah, six people. Dave. And Dave we, is and with we, you. Yeah, Dave. Whoever Dave is. So let's say the six of us all wait, teleport to the inn or to the keep. They can still come back with us because they yep. went with us, correct? Okay. They can, yeah. But right. so like whoever goes with can come back. But, okay. but if you want to teleport back without that person, you need to restart the attunement time, essentially. So, if so that everyone not... needs to be present to go back. Okay. Basically, yeah. That's the, okay. that's the caveat. Now, obviously, this is, is meant to help travel and also mm -hmm. lets you access your keep in situations where you might need resources, though you don't have that many considering the vault is empty. Oops. Yet. Um, yeah. Don't worry, we stole like board. 80 gold from all the cabinets. <laughs> Fuck and stuff yeah. Yeah, it's down. all going in there. 80 gold. Let's start the bank. <laughs> Toss now, it in. Put it in the I will, cornucopia. <laughs> I will say this. In moments of conflict, don't expect to be able to teleport back. Like if you, you are cannot being fast pursued, travel while enemies are nearby. That's a hundred percent exactly is that. <laughs> if you are under <laughs> pursuit or you are under threat, even even that sort of situation, teleporting back is out of the question. If you are in a situation in which there is a threat, um, well, just nervous. Keep that in mind. So like that's just so you can't just poof out of any like any situation you want, more mm -hmm. or less. Now, Got there it. is a way to sever the ley line back to the... So, like, if you teleport to the woods and return to Easton Vale, you then have to unattune and reattune to reset the ley line, meaning that if you teleport back from an area and then you want to teleport to a new location, you have to restart, essentially. So that's going to Got it. So basically, when we first yeah. teleport, it's like a ready-to-action to go back, and the only way to go somewhere else is to reset it. Is to reset it, yeah. Which okay, means you also, it. so that means like, you know, if you're in the forest of Hearthland, you're like, shit, we need to go to Mararalo. You teleport back using your wayline. You have to sever the wayline, meaning you have to wait, you have to unattune and reattune, and then you can teleport to Mararalo after that. Got you it. can't just jump around. It, there's time in between. It's not a perfect system, but it's a very robust system that exists, and it's very strong. Um, as well, Lynn mentions if you find any teleportation circles, if you note them down, they can be added to the catalog of teleport locations as well. Ooh, Meaning if okay. you go to somewhere, you find a, a teleportation circle or find access to it, you can add that to your catalog and it becomes a permanent teleportation spot that you can use. I have a question. Yes. Uh, was the place with all the constellations that we found with Eskon, is that a teleportation circle? No, it is not. Okay. A teleportation okay. circle would be the teleportation circle you found in that dungeon, the uh, Twin Head Battle, I was just uh, gonna say. which nobody drew, so you don't have access to that. However, you do have a probably not a place you want to teleport anyway, because there's no real way out of there without a boat. But uh, you do have access to one in Martorallo, uh anyway, so you're fine in that regard. Does now that, that being, yeah. does that uh, include that the circle in the lab in this castle? Uh, that one's fake. It's not real. It's actually oh, meant gotcha. to be a fake one because it leads to the secret door that leads to the the veil yeah. piercer. Ah, uh, yeah. okay, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. So that one, that one's actually a kind of a red herring Decoy. that Mervyn nice. set up in case people were looking for the veil piercer for whatever reason. Um, now that being said, as well, when you don't lay a ley line, which essentially for a ley line, it's like a, a basically a teleport point that you make when you teleport to and from. Um, if you are not using a ley line, if there's no ley line active, you can teleport from teleportation circle to teleportation circle as well. Meaning if you want to like, if you're like, okay, we have no ley line, let's teleport to Matarallo, and then from that teleportation circle, teleport to Hearthland, you can do that with the with the Scepter of Eastern Vale as well, without waiting. That one's instant. So hopefully this is making sense, because it's it a is. very so complicated far, magical yep, item. So Just bear with us yeah. if we screw it up later. Yeah, we'll we'll discuss it, but basically yeah. there's a probably long... have it written down somewhere too. Yeah, basically I'm writing it as we know, speak. It is a long thing to do because you have mm. to basically wait a day per person to teleport with them right. back Got to Easton Vale. That is the most important thing to know is that there's a long period of time and if you are in a situation which is the best, like, literally what Connor said, not even necessarily enemies are around, but if you are in a situation where time is sensitive, you don't expect to use it to get out of a situation. It is not don't meant for that purpose. Situation. Yeah, it is not meant to be a get-out-of-jail card. This is meant to be a tool to get you to locations or let you travel to locations you wish to travel to. to. And if you work guys explore... Anxiety. Yeah, work has anxiety. And if you explore and find teleportation circles, your prize is that you could unlock further locations from Easton Vale to teleport to, expanding your oh, yeah. horizons. Yep. So yeah, that is what you guys have access to, which is like, that is going to be like your pivotal thing now. <laughs> so you can see why it was hard to wait on this, but you finally have access to the fucking Veil Piercer, finally. 
um, mm. and Wark. If anybody has the spell, which I feel like one of you might, you can find familiar Wark and make him a. Companion. Well, they said there was a scroll too, right? So at the there very is least, a scroll. Like, yeah. Okay, cool. Did we there not is that get access. one from Pointy Hat in his spell book? No, think... we got. There were three scrolls that he got, and I think I've burned through almost all of them. But he gave us uh, Expeditious Retreat. Disguise self, and I think identify. Were identify the three ones was that, the other one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, that reminds me. The ad, uh, the items in the vault. Lynn knows what they are. Cool. So she will tell you what those are. Give me one second. I have to find the room. Do we want to do that right now, or do we want to? Yes. Let's do that okay. right now because if you guys want to attune to those before company arrives, you will want to do that. Oh shit! Boy, howdy! That'd be cool. Uh, also, sorry I to hold you I'm... up, but this is very oh, no, important. No, no. And no I, I, more for I chat. also know That's what I'm really doing it. for my level four. Do we want to maybe put on the expeditious? Uh, no, not expeditious. That's not right. The fairy. No, I have, I have medieval yeah. library going because this is all kind of in game okay. stuff, and people might oh, think we're dang, finishing. Uh, yeah, all uh, right. Uh, <clears throat> so the magic items that were found, I believe, guys, you have the dust. East can you have the gloves, and Otho, you found a ring. Yes. Uh, yeah. The bag of dust is one use of dust of disappearance. Oh, that's a good one. Nice. It's only enough for one, unfortunately, due to the pilfering. That's still really good, though. Hey, the... check it out. Not here. <laughs> Poof. The gloves... Guys, that was the only use. Fuck. The gloves are gloves of missile snaring. Ooh, oh, shit. Ooh, that's the Remy special. It's one of my favorite weapons. One of my favorite magic mm. items. One of my favorite uh, weapons. <laughs> and... The last one is a ring of jumping. Um, hey oh, Gaius. Coin? Oh, hey Gaius. No. Oh, would you fuck. like to? Hey jump Gaius, lower? would you like to jump higher? Boy, did you have to ask? I'll trade you. The gloves yeah. and the ring require attunement and will take up an arm slot. So for magic items, you can't double up on one slot. So you can't wear two hats. You can only wear one. That sort of deal. So just keep that in mind. Okay. So. Uh, and it was dust of disappearing. You said. One use of dust of disappearance. Yeah. Dust of his appearance, and the item was what was the ring called? Ring uh, of the jumping. ring is a ring of jumping, yeah. And then the jumping. gloves are gloves of missile smearing. Just out of curiosity, what does the ring of jumping do? Uh, I believe it doubles your. Jump. I have it. While is it wearing doubled? this ring, you can cast the jump spell as if it was a bonus oh. action at will. Jesus, really? <laughs> Holy All fuck. right, Gaius, enjoy. So Gaius is now Michael Jordan. <laughs> yeah. Basically, well, fuck that. He's Vince uh, Carter. The, the effects of the jump spell is you touch a creature, the creature's jump distance is tripled until the spell ends. Holy fuck! Oh shit. my god! I cast Mirthful Leap. <laughs> We're gonna uh, see the goat well, jump Well, you over cast the moon. that and Mirthful Leap. Like what? We're gonna see what the goat would, jump over the. Wouldn't moon. that mean my Mirthful Leap would be two d six? We'll have to see how those two things interact, depending because Mirthful Leap, I believe, is an, an opposite thing to a spell and not an opposite thing but a different thing to a spell but if yeah it, can be combined, it, it, yeah, then, it, it yeah. just adds you, you just get to add a 1d8 on top of whatever it is you make but if i make a long or high jump which is what activates mirthful leap i basically can fucking jump what is my strength yeah. my strength you don't need to fly you just jump into the stratosphere Dude, my strength is plus six. Oh fuck let's triple that i don't think it triples you does it triple your strength, or does it just triple? Well, no, the, the movement that the movement that is applicable because I have plus six in that. Also, for the sake of uh, bureaucracy, uh, you are considered um, basically her stewards or heralds of Eastonvale Keep now. Lynn does not is not keen on taking the queen role unless it's beneficial, and she is not going to be standing as the authority of Eastonvale. However, she will advise you. Uh, so we are we are officially the sovereigns of Easton Vale right now. Basically, well, yes. Are you, that's fucking crazy to me at that's level four. Sick. Yeah, but no, to be fair, the country's pretty fucking empty, and there's nothing in it right now except for a bunch you know what? Of except people. for so were most and countries before they shit. became superpowers. Behold our barren and decrepit kingdom. Don't worry, uh, Lynn, we'll unthieve them. Lynn does advise probably sending word to Martorallo and Herflin about the state of Easton Vale, so Must. that way there's, they, they invoke the Trinity Treaty, making sure no one invades. Um, Lynn is hesitant about Athel given what she knows, so mm -hmm. that is something worth talking about in character in the game, in your guys' war room, which you own, by the way. You have a war Fuck room. Fuck yeah, now. our war oh room. Oh my god. Gentlemen, <laughs> gentlemen, you can't fight in here. This is the war room. 
Gotcha. <laughs> wait, um, wait, could wait. you eat that ah! outside? This is the war room. <laughs> God, not in front of my maps. <laughs> <laughs> so I Brush think the next session we still have you Gaijin correct we have you for next session mm -hmm. yeah I think if you guys Sweet. are okay with it next session is going to be looking around the keep figuring out things with so it so some downtime it's going to be some downtime but it's going to be role play downtime so I, oh no Woo! whatever will I do that's my you're on the because you have people showing up you have Ru uh, Rebu showing yeah. up and then you also I think you're going to say Roomba showing up I almost said fire. Roomba yeah <laughs> Uh, you have Rebu showing up, as well as apparently Zoe and Co. Whatever that means. Great. Um, we'll send Otho to handle them. They're, he speaks and evil. Potentially other people. Well, they died on the way here. How about that? <laughs> that would be a shame, wouldn't it? But you guys did it. You guys we fucking did, did we it. Did you, fucking do we it. did it. Officially heroes, baby. Hashtag is, officially heroes. It is severed, and That's all of my the. Soul. <laughs> all the residual effect is gone also the third orb has been purified and not only that uh lynn is going to construct a location to put the orbs in the throne room of eason vale fuck yeah there. hell yeah <laughs> look at that you can build a house of that yeah. i'm i'm reading this real quickly just so we can look at this Raw, you must have the available movement to use this while jumping so hypothetically a human with 20 strength Taking the dash action, a normal a normal jump, uh, a normal thing would be run ten, jump twenty, land, run ten, jump twenty. However, with the dash action applicable with jump, that is run ten, jump twenty, remain airborne for thir for the rest of the dash action. <laughs> yeah. So basically, Point. you can just jump your dash action and like just leap over problems. I can remain in the I can remain in the air for fifty feet. But you do have to land at the end of your turn. Oh no, I have to land, but I, Are I you am sure? airborne. I am airborne for fifty feet. I I'm 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 smelling I'm smelling the lawyers uh out in the woodworks and in the comments section. I'm actually oh, yeah. uh, you'd take one D ten fall damage for every ten oh, feet you fall. Oh whatever. Uh, that's <laughs> height not Bro, I that's can backwards height, not long like, jump. That's <laughs> height not length. He can jump fifty feet forward and be two feet off the ground. But uh, yes. So Wee. Of importance, I will need to know going forward who has Wark, the scepter. It, it's interchangeable, really, um, at all times, just to know who has the scepter. And you guys have to keep you, in mind. Do you have an icon for our tokens just so that we can tell you and you can put it on our token? No, I just, like, you guys you have, can write okay. it down. It's like Liza's Got mask it. from the previous well, campaign. I just it? need to know uh, who has nothing else, happened. I was holding on to it. I mean, you had it. I mean, last, we can so. we can figure that out next session. It's not a big deal. Yeah, yeah. Out next session. It's not like you need to know right now. But basically, we're gonna have next session. But you guys have taken a night to rest, uh, and it's really the next morning you're gonna have visitors. So we'll we'll cool. play that out. You guys are level cool. four. So, should, uh, yeah, so do we reset our staff. HP before that, or? Yes, everything. The basically yep. the level up's gonna happen after the long rest. While we sleep. And just so everyone knows, I chopped my constitution up to 18. I now have 44 HP. Let's yeah, go, beefy boy. Because at level one, you guys all got a free feat. I'd recommend please taking the ability score increase for this one, if you yes. don't mind. Unless you're married Very to well. idea. I just, it would make life easier so then we can- Very well. Up. Yeah. I don't will allow money, it. Trust me, I have a skill tree in mind. I know, Very I know. Well. It just makes it easier because, like, this, two levels. I'll two put this feet away. <laughs> Whoa, I, just, yeah, I mean, whatever you're into. this foot off. <laughs> uh, there's, yeah, there's no rolling for health. You guys take median, so don't even think about rolling for it. No, <laughs> don't no, I was, do. um... It it's put safer me for Mark. It put me in character mancer, and I was trying to navigate that. I don't. Fair that was enough. not intended. I was just like, wait a minute, can I just click this average? Oh, why is it posting the average? That makes no sense. Thanks, game. Oh man. Yeah, you guys. We, we should do it. outros though. Good. Yeah, we should. I'll change over the music now. And we'll go over to uh, yeah. to the ferret, and yeah, level four. This is where the adventure really kicks off. By the way, like I'm so happy. That we're at this point now because now shit is gonna get real fucking interesting i mean shit's already interesting it's like you're a good dm or something anyway oh, we did it yeah we did it y'all well we did. thanks for thanks for stopping by thanks for staying a little bit late everyone um mm -hmm. we did it we are officially heroes of eason vale
and now I guess sovereigns. Oh boy, but without further ado, uh, let's go around the horn and deintroduce ourselves. Gaijin, we're gonna find you. What are you up to? Uh, just Gaijin Goomba, twitch.tv slash. Wait, I did that backwards. You know where I'm at. Uh, doing Halo because I never touched it ever, and new culture analysis video on Demon Slayer coming out this weekend. Right on. Mark Allen Jr., where can they find you? You can find me wondering why you're falling into the distance on Twitter.com at Mark Allen Jr., here on Twitch at Aeon Pro Tech Gaming, and you can follow the adventures of my fat sleepy cat bunny on Instagram at chonk for life Um, we'll have, uh, Digimon World 2 stream sometime in the next couple of days, probably. Uh, I'm going to try and stream again this weekend. Some weird stuff going on, including my participation in a Digimon trading card game online tournament for charity. Uh, so I will probably be streaming that on Saturday uh, and maybe back to Pokemon Infinite Fusion on Sunday. It's going to be an interesting weekend. We're going to have fun. I'm trying really hard to get back to streaming more frequently. Uh, so thank you to everybody for all your patience over the last several months where I've been trying to figure out a schedule for that. Um, other than that, check my Twitter. I got some stuff in the pipeline, especially some announcements for voiceover stuff. Uh, so follow me there and I will update you when information is allowed to be shared. Or the NDA ninjas will kill me in my sleep. That's it Ray. for me. You already won one tournament so oh i, I good probably shot. won't win this one uh -huh. this one is with physical cards and sets that are already out in english so mm. it'll be tougher but we'll see indeed who knows i'm keeping positive right oh zito where can they find you what are you up to twitch.tv slash zito where uh I have a fuck ton of keys that I have been given that I am now mandated to try. So Friday, uh, we'll have, we'll, but not including, Curse of the Sea Rats, Ersis, and Redfall. So I will be mandated to play those. I'm going to give them maybe an hour to two hours worth of time, depending on how much I can tolerate. Uh, then after that, uh, if I feel like I have the energy for it, it's either draw or and do adoptables or uh, switch over to Fuse Rat Combat, which, of course, we all know is called Pokemon Infinite Fusion, but that's the coward's way to call it. It is Fuse Rat Combat. Fuse Rat Combat. That's me. Yeah! Right on. Edward Bosco, where can they find you? And what are you up to? You can find me at Ed Bosco VA on both Instagram and Twitter, right here on twitch.tv slash Edward Bosco. We're speaking of Halo. We just beat Halo Infinite with Arkov. We're sad. Not going to say why. Spoilers. But we're going to be playing some Halo Wars. It's an RTS. It's not traditional Halo, but oh true my. story. <laughs> Halo, Halo was originally designed by Bungie to be an RTS on the computer before they were bought by Microsoft. So they got back to the roots. We're going to play that game. Also oh. doing a lasso run of Halo 3 with Artsy Hartsy Fartsy, Level 1 Eevee, and Xanalus Grimm. You know all those lovely names because they help out on the channel sometimes. Or you Ooh. watch Dungeon of the Mad Mage, which is also cool. So yeah, uh, wrestling on Fridays, throwback Thursday. We're going Jet Set Radio. So we're playing through that. My buddies yes. never played Jet Set Radio. So yes. we're about... 30% of the way through the game, we're just about to go into the sewers to uh, fight the Poison Boys. And uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about, come check it out on Thursdays. That's me. Peace out. Also, you. Judgment with Connor. Judge Monte is happening. Yeah, it's Judge Monte. Judge Monte. Also, Mass Effect on Monday. Mass Effect on Monday. Yes. Arkov, me, and Monte do Mass Effect on Monday. Oh, my God. It's so stressful. Also, uh, Bosco, you may yes. fight the Poison Guys in the sewers, but do you understand the concept of love? I understand. Understand. Uh, Bosco, I'm giving you... It's like this... Like that. It's like this, this, like that. <laughs> no, no, Bosco, Bosco. I have to yeah. give you. I have to give you two versions of really, really good Jet Set Radio playlists. Okay. Oh hell yeah. I'm please, all here for it. Please look up after this Jet Set Radio Evolution on YouTube. Jet Set Radio Evolution on YouTube. Mm. I'm on it. All right, but that's me. Jet Set Radio. I'm looking up right now. Indeed. Uh, and our our very own Ooh. resident uh, 
DJ Professor M Monty Glue. Where can they find Hi. you? And what are you up to? Can you find me drinking way more mo water after this? I'm so glad I was able to troop through this because holy crap, it got hard at times. You uh, did it. I, I you had to cut out with. I, I you can find me drinking. Like damn, okay. Yeah, no, not like that. Not like that. I unfortunately got a bit of heat stroke yesterday because it got really hot and I was driving in my car that has no air conditioning and I'm suffering for it today. But. We got through session and it was great and I had a really good time. Uh, you can find me at Monty Glue on Twitter. You can find me at twitch.tv forward slash Monty Glue, uh, where tomorrow should hopefully be more done to the Mad Mage. Uh, I actually need to do some reading tonight because uh, they they did a thing. I won't say what they did. I doubled the episode tonight, but they did a thing. Um, I just want to say thank you guys so much for making it through the first three levels of this campaign. They were a bit of a doozy, but. Worth oh it. man, it's it's you're it's fuck. It's gonna be awesome. The pace is gonna pick up significantly with the veil piercer, just like in terms of like traversing and things like that. Mm -hmm. I know that's not me, my outro, but I'm just, I'm excited now because like I've been sitting on this for so long and I'm like we're so close. But yeah, no. Um, you can also find me my YouTube, which is uh Monty Blue as well, uh, and you can find me doing all sorts of things. Uh, but yeah, jazz hands. Ooh. Alrighty, alrighty. Uh, and of course, they can find me on Twitter, Twitch, and YouTube.com slash Distortion Devil. I stream Tuesdays, Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. Just like uh, Ed said, we'll be playing some Jujimante Judgment. We're, we're in Subquest City, where we're. Subquest City! As, we're going through as many subquests as we can before we get sick of it and decide to just end the game. And then after that, we'll be moving on to Yakuza 7. Uh, Yakuza Like a Dragon, I, I should say. I mm -hmm. keep calling it Yakuza 7, which is what it is, but... It is that, but it's also called Like a Dragon. Yeah. Um, as well, I've been uh, playing a, a, a bit more um, pop-up VR streams, so uh, expect the random virtual reality stream every once in a while those have been an absolute blast so far uh yes other than that i think the only thing left to do is uh go down our list of things to say including but not limited to this episode was brought to you in part by die hard dice, die hard dice! that's right Die Hard Dice is your one-stop shop for dice and dice accessories. And if you head on over to dieharddice.com, you can use the code UNEXPECTABLES to save 10% on your order. You can use that code as well to purchase our new Lies Dice, Lies Aspect Dice that are available right now on dieharddice.com, the official collaboration between the Unexpectables and Die Hard Dice. Uh, flat lining... <laughs> as well check out our store that's right our our more our new merch store is up now we've got uh three designs right now and we'll be having some more designs at some point so be on the lookout for those uh but the link to that will be in the description of the youtube and in the chat right now uh yes pick up some unexpected swag today um with that, I guess we got some businesses left to read off. Yeah, we need an episode uh, title, though. I did see one in chat that I, I, I kind I saw of a loved. I saw a couple that I liked. What did you Maybe see? Maybe we'll find some more. I, I really I really liked Royal Rumble. Of course you would. My, my <laughs> favorite that Leave I, me alone. My favorite that I saw was In Life Do Us Part, which I thought was really, really awesome. Well, let's let's see let's if we it. can find some more uh, in this so bits and subs we, list. We we left off with Morth Randor. It was a 365 bit thing because it was a pun because it was a happy anniversary bit drop. Hey guys, just yeah. real quick, can I go ahead and dip? I got it. I need you to stay, tomorrow. unfortunately. Okay. I'm so sorry. Where is it? I'll just Control F just more. Maybe I won't. Maybe. Maybe you'll just pick a spot. Maybe I'll cry. Uh, let me see. Let me see. Actually, Gaijin, you can there head out. I just, 
I just need to talk to you sometimes before next session if we can find the time, if you can fit a time in your schedule. Oh yeah, like during the day, yeah. I'm I'm super good. Okay, yeah, then yeah. you you should be fine to go. Okay, no worries. We we just need to have a, a we have a discussion before next session just about you departing, and I need to make sure we have it all squared away before oh, yeah, time no. passes. No, that's fine. I'll I'll have time. Okay. Okay, y'all peace out. Go sleep. Bye, buddy. Have a good bye. Bye, bye Gaijin. Ow. Uh, before anybody gets worried, not permanently. Uh, more Thrandor. There we go. Uh, all I read those. Happy birthday. The Demo Worm. Uh, thank you for the 200 bits. King Isaac manifesting numerous people as his therapists, like Aku in Samurai Jack Season 5. <laughs> uh, Bubba Bob, thank you for the. Uh, 400 bits. I can't believe Monty retconned all the bucket art. I couldn't remember if the bucket was wood or, or steel. I couldn't remember. It was been we, so long. People drew it steel, but it oh, was, I'm yeah. so sorry. Either I thought it was either wood way, in my head. either way, not an ideal vessel for boiling. Something I would say in. no matter what it was, material-wise, probably yeah, probably not a good idea to boil. Y'all have never made gumbo. Whatever. In a boil can, gumbo in a puppy. You weren't you were making I, gumbo, I have you were making jambalaya. a potion. I, I have made jambalaya. Gumbo. My recipe, my mother had a recipe for jambalaya that would kill you. That potion had seasoning with the powdered unicorn horn. It had meat in the form of the dragon scale. That was gumbo. No, that is not gumbo. I just, we I just grabbed gumbo. that black sludge that it turned into and just put it in my mouth. Yeah, <laughs> it, gumbo is sludge until you add water. So yeah, yeah guys, we made gumbo. The only, the only thing we now need to consider is that I have a high jump of 70 feet. Damn. <laughs> Not including Mirthful Leap. That is a very hilarious statistic. <laughs> uh, can leap tall buildings in a single bound. Uh, Chief 035, think of it 100 bits. Uh, title suggestion, run around the castle. Uh... 100 bits from James Rochal, uh two hours ago. You're the number one D&D channel on Twitch. Damn. Wow. Wait, how is that possible? I don't think we are. I, I think, think live. We I, I think, think we were. I think we were. Yeah, currently at that time, two hours ago, we were number one for D&D. Oh, yeah, that I believe. Yeah. But yeah. overall, I don't know about we that. We are not. I feel, are like, number, I feel like Critical Role might be a little we're bit ahead five. of us. Not by much. We're, we're number, number five. five. <laughs> we're top five. <laughs> <laughs> We're coming for you, other whoever. Five. Yeah, Brett. Yeah, Brett. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, Brett. Brett. I mean, Sweet considering we only run like basically two games a week, that's pretty impressive by itself. Yeah. And when we overtake his spot, we could be like Brett, screw Brett. <laughs> <laughs> we like Brett. We like Brett. He's our friend. I do love Brett. Brett Ultimus is awesome. Check him out. Yeah, Twitch.tv slash whatever his Twitch is. <laughs> Brett Ultimus. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Congratulations uh, to his Kickstarter. He, got, he did a really successful Kickstarter. Uh, very well. He did very well. People uh, like the fish. Callum Jaws, thank you. Hmm? People like the fish. Yeah. Yeah, true. Evie. No, guys, uh, we're not going to go after Matt Mercer. He saved the Unexpectables. No. It's true. Yeah, he him. saved no. us the endless void of trivia. <laughs> Yep. He he is on probation, but we're coming eventually. <laughs> Callum draws. He's thank you safe for, the for now. Uh, I miss Remy. I do too. I miss Remy too. Thank he's, you. He's still Two hundred bits. Please. I know he's still alive, but I miss. He him. lives in us. In he, he lives in you. He lives, he lives in the in place me. down the street. Guys, neither one of you can sing that song. <laughs> Why? Yeah. In you, Pendy, with Remy, a passion Remy. fruit grow sweet. Remy, and it's so Matt divine here. that you lose your um, mind and it sweeps you up your feet. What? If... Dude, I want Gaius and Remy to meet so bad. <laughs> it would be so good. <laughs> Mega oh, waffles. Go ahead, go ahead. Thank you for the 200 bits. Happy birthday campaign two. Testing my first bit drop. Episode title suggestion, checkmate. Ooh. Mm. Uh... Zenlina, thank you for the 100 bits. It turns out the potion was just kombucha. Oh my god, we ate the oh, mother. Oh my god. <laughs> oh no. We, we fed Isaac the mother. <laughs> for, for context, 
when I was playing RE4 Remake, anytime I wanted to heal, I had to take a swig of kombucha, and it was fucking awful. I can't even drink kombucha. Like, the it's, texture just makes me gag. It's, I can't it's do it. It's bad. I also got an elixir, like a legitimate elixir, where if I did, like, a full heal, I'd have to drink some of that, and it's just pure concentrated pine energy. It's awful. <laughs> Never had kombucha before. I don't plan to either. It's Stop. great for your gut biome. If I whoop the yeah, so is deal. right. So is drinking apple cider vinegar, and I'd rather do that over drinking. So kombucha. is just eating good. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Where Mika and Pachi, think about the ninety-five bits. Bosco and Zito. What would Remy and Gaius's tag team name be? Oh shit! Turf and turf. No. What? <laughs> what? That <laughs> makes no sense. Did you say what are you turf talking and turf? About? <laughs> oh, you know what? It's because it's because Remy's a whale. I get it. Perfect. <laughs> Classic. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yeah. Here I go. Surfing. No so, they didn't ask about Remy. They said Wemmy. Yeah, sorry, uh, bad. Yeah. Uh. Calum Raintree, thank you for the 100 bits. Possible title suggestion, King's Fall. On another note, I found myself going in the car, but to the tune of Yoshi's Island. Touch piercer, get dizzy. Dude, you literally could call us the ER Knights. Eldritch Knight, Rune Knight, fucking yeah. ER Knights. Because we're going to put you in the ER. <laughs> They're the Er Knights. <laughs> the Er Knights. We're the, we're the Knights that say Er. We're, the, we're like LA Knight. It's like ER Knights. Yeah. All right. Sorry. My wrestling stuff is done. Next. 12 months from Little Blue Seal. Y'all got this. Love from Down Under. Uh, Mortalia, thank you for the... 37 months King S Indeed Chief 035 Thank you for the 100 bits Milk em. Uh <laughs> that, that was the message Milk em. Chief 035 Gifted a 2-1 sub to Leonardo de Hammer 02 Hell yeah baby Mr. Insecure Thank you for the 100 bits Episode title Sick Semper Tyrannus. Interesting. Very educational. Robo Mom, thank you for the five bits. Kill the king. We did. We sure did. He was our Nova dead. Flame. We double killed him. Double and we sent now. him. We sent him to super hell. Yeah. <laughs> Nova Flame, thank you for the twenty-two months. Protoss103, thank you for the five bits. Would love to see the reaction of the smugglers right now. Oh, I was tempted to do like a cutaway to like all these different places and their reaction to shit going down, but I'm like, nah, this is your moment. But uh, yeah, not only people in Eastonville, but outside of it are also like, uh, guy? <laughs> so the fog wall that was up here for a year just fell down. Uh, why can I see the sun? Here like, if the, the sun comes sun. out in Seattle, oh my they're God. like, what is that? I imagine, I imagine. P P the, the clerics in Fort Divinity are, like, ringing a bell somewhere, like, shit's happening! <laughs> <laughs> like, like, imagine there's, everyone's... like, one drow smuggler hanging out in Banner's Ben who looks up and goes, ah, oh, fuck, <laughs> just, like, pissed yeah. off. It's like, all right, well, shut her down. <laughs> well, well, our, our, our operation is over here. Just, like, just Time like, to pack it up, in, boys. Yeah. <laughs> Time, time to hit the old dusty trail. <laughs> Tom is fine, though. Terrible Tom the turkey is A-OK. -okay. Nothing has changed. He's thriving. Uh, Game Master Ant, thank you for the 36 months. We lost Wark. No! No, just, he's just sleeping. sleeping. Yeah, he's he's sleeping. just sleeping. He's having a little nap. Taking the Odin River, sleep. River Rat, thank you for the 100 bits. Episode title, Fallen King. The Atom Bomb, thank you for the 100 bits. Praise the new lords of Eastonvale. May they rule with grace, wisdom, and absolute badassery. Someone in chat just said title suggestion, warp speed. No, walk, oh. comma, engage. <laughs> walk, engage. That's, Go to walk. Those seven. are all good. We're going to use it eventually. We don't have to use it on this one, but we're going to use that. 
Mr. War. Mr. Uh, War. Engage. Cosmosis45, thank you for the 200 bits. I'm glad they're finally at peace. Uh, having a ghost guards would have been pretty cool. Oh, those guards got fucked over so hard. Had you guys walked through the castle, you would have seen what happened in every single room you went into. I think we're good. Well, I, am, I imagine we'll get the story once, now that we've got time. Well, well, who, I mean, well who's going to tell it? It's easy to piece together what the fuck happened, really. Yeah. yeah. I mean, just with the guards in the hallway, we kind of saw it, so. King fucking ate him. <sighs> Fuck that dude. Vian, I Griffin. was waiting for... Oh, God, sorry. Think of the 15 months. The king is dead. Long live the kings. Have fun rebuilding Eastonvale. Yeah, Jesus Christ. Uh, Ace Bounty, think of the 45 bits. Domo Arigato Gaijin Roboto. <laughs> oh, Thank yeah, you very great. much, a Gaijin a Goomba Dama Dama. Gaijin. Uh, 300 bits from SAC 47 DK. Uh, have some early morning bits from Denmark. Hey. Also, Mark and Bosco, what is your favorite role that you've ever voiced? All of I them. I mean, yeah, it's hard to pick. I will say one of my favorite is Ara from Dustin Elysian and Tail. And if you haven't played it, check it out. I still have to. I genuinely uh, it's a really like... good game, and I got to play the sword, and it was really hard, but I'm very appreciative that I got to do that, so check that game out. I, I genuinely like playing pretty much everything I've played, but um, <clears throat> Seiichi from Fruit of Evolution is probably really high up there, if not in first, just because I got to do a lot of almost cartoony stuff in an anime, and that almost never happens, so it was it's, it's been a lot of fun. Uh, yeah, yeah. Also, Zen Lita, thank you for the 100 bits. I guess you can call Easton Vale Castle a ghost house. Oh my yeah. god, fuck off! Day 13 in the ghost house. I saw the king of Easton Vale wandering the halls. His butt was out. It was really weird. But then we ran to the roof after taking that potion. And what do we saw after the lightning crashed? Oh shit! <laughs> god, <Connor. laughs> ghost house. Uh, I, I loved. I I was I was so ignorant and happy in a in a pre ghost house world. Uh, we got raided uh, by yeah, sure Robert did. Hartley GM for a party of 187. Thank Whoa. you all so much for stopping by. Thank you. And that was like it was like right in the middle of of the boss fight there. I it think really was, uh, I yeah. I saw it in chat. But thank you all so much. We got a bunch of followers as well from over in uh, uh, from over on Robert Hartley GM side. Thank you so much, everybody, for stopping by, uh, putting in your follows. We play pretty much every Wednesday. Uh, this is like the 39th episode of this campaign, the second this campaign. Is that we've done this on this channel. This is also like the bookend of the first kind of major arc in the story as well. And if I can also say, it was absolutely fitting that we put an end to a year long problem on our on one birthday. year anniversary. Yeah. Like that's awesome. Also watch my Fallout game that I run on Saturdays right here. What? What's it called? <laughs> it's called Gateway. <laughs> it's really cool. You guys, you guys mentioned Dave and you summoned him. I see, I see, I see. Uh, John, John, thank you for the 16 months. Wow, 16 months. That was fast. Fook me, that was fast. Crit scratch. Think of the 10 bits. Long live the unexpected kings. Blackfoot ferret. Think of the 62 birthday bits. Uh, Black Belt Gamer, thank you for the 100 bits. Long live the king, or long live Eason Vale for the title of the episode. Uh, Lost and Be the Robot, thank you for the 100 bits. Ding dong, the king is dead. Again. Uh, More this time. Re dead. <laughs> More dead. Dead to Electric Boogaloo. Dead is a doenail. Uh, Callum Draws, thank you for the 50 bits. Uh, a year ago, five adventurers fell victim to a dragon's curse, suspended in a winter of death with the power of the sun and the stars, the might of lords and fighters, the potential of magic. They ended the endless winter and 
time seemed to flow for East and Vale once again. The evil never foresaw their triumph. It was truly unexpectable. Indeed. Also, Endless Winter? No, I think that's our job, actually. Yeah. <laughs> Sweats uh, and I'm with a frost maiden. <laughs> Uh, Princess Kitsune, thank you for the 100 bits. Take the succubus baker for the castle chef. Oh, God. <laughs> no. I mean... No. Why not? She's evil. Yeah, but yeah, she's but enslaved. Indentured servitude. She's a prisoner. That's what she is. She's serving her time for the sentence. Wait, no, that's not right. I told, uh, I told I told some friends like what her how she got into that situation and all of them went wow amazing <laughs> fuck her I I I I <laughs> I retweeted something it was it was like a little comic that was like uh, a succubus like crawling onto this dude's bed and she's like so is this your first time being with a succubus and the guy's like I'm asexual actually and <laughs> she like her skin starts peeling <laughs> off like <"Aah!" laughs> Uh, the, 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 uh, Reaper Harlequin, thank you for the 50 bits. Eason Vale lives. Eason Vale lives in truth. Solaris Shadow, true thank life. you for the 25 bits. Uh, <laughs> can you do something with your channel points? I have 1K of them. Hmm. Maybe. We need to put you a hard button there, Monty. You can highlight, you can highlight a message. Yeah, oh, just highlight so all when, of your messages. So when I so when we play the opening, you can make every come as vivid and as noticeable as possible. <laughs> Wait, Monty, 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 Monty. Uh huh. If we get trigger fire and set up sounds like "gup" and "bark," you can no. turn the game would be unplayable. We'd no, be no, no, it'd be a cacophony. I don't want to. I don't want to do that. Not during the game. I don't want to do that. <laughs> okay. Just black blanket. I don't want to do that. And there you go. People are highlighting. Everybody's their highlighting their fucking <laughs> messages now. <laughs> Sorry, Chad. I tried. Sorry. You can put funny simple. sunglasses on the emotes. Don't you worry. You can. Yeah. Like uh, yeah, they don't fit. <laughs> <laughs> They fit really well on the panic emo for some reason. They do, yeah, uh, which is pretty great. Uh, Crit Scratch, thank you for the 10 bits. Uh, just give Gaius a double jump and an air dash. Oh my god. Let's go Dice. and step about it. Let's go and step about it. <laughs> this, campaign is, this campaign is just Gaius getting the same powers from Ori in the Blind Forest. <laughs> oh my god, am I in a Metroidvania? I want oh to play God. the second game. I never been able to play the second game. Anyway, sorry. Dice Ruler, thank you for the four bits. <laughs> the king. Well, I have my... Oh, shit! <laughs> Falls down the stairs. He did, yeah. He's. I, I just picture... Stairs. I just picture, like, Milo, sweet bro and hella Jeff face of the king, <laughs> Isaac Eastonville, falling down the stairs. Yeah. I warned you about stairs, bro! I told you, dog! It keeps happening! <laughs> I told you, man! I warned you about stairs! Uh, Z on the Blue Dragon, thank you for this. <laughs> I can't wait to be a useless piece of shit all day and eat all these cards. <laughs> Fuck, I'm falling down all these stairs. <laughs> it's okay, some jokes are for me. No, uh, I'm laughing! <laughs> Uh, Z on the Blue Dragon, thank you for the 34 months. Thank you for being there with all the laughs while my mom is recovering the hospital from a very nasty fall. Love what you guys do. Keep up the good work. Well, she hope your mom recovers good. soon. Good recovery. Yeah. Tribal Born, thank you for the brand new Prime sub. Thank you so much. Bubba Bob, thank you for the 1,000 bits. Hail to the king. That was intensity, or that was intensifying in my head. The whole fight. Oh fuck! Hail to the king. Uh, Blackfoot Fair, thank you for the nine thousand and one bits. Happy birthday, unexpectables. Yeah. Zen Lita, thank you for the one hundred bits. Episode title from chat member Chirpy Teach. 
Castle Crashers. We've done that one already. I'm pretty we sure. We did, yeah. We, I'm pretty sure, we sure did. did. I still like In Life Do Us Part. I don't know why. I just love that one. Mm-hmm. More Thrandor, thank you for the 100 bits. Totally uh, work it. Lose some sleep to watch this amazing chapter end live. Congratulations to all. Callum Draws, thank you for the four bits. Wait a minute. Pierce the Veil. Eason Veil. I get it. Yep. Uh, More Thrain Door, thank you for getting a tier one sub to Killer Knight 007. GGG Maximo, thank you for getting a tier one sub to Statari 01. Reaper Harlequin, thank you for the five bits. I have a I have Orc Mother figure on my bingo card in honor of Helga and Mama Rugigi. Mika Ampachi, thank you for the 95 bits. Gaius can now Marvel vs. Capcom 2 jump. Oh, fuck. Bro, Next boss fight, he's gonna break out the X-Factor. Bro, fucking say less. Holy shit, <laughs> my mouth <laughs> went full grin at that. Uh, Protoss103, thank you for the uh, five bits. What's the special at the Remy Cafe? Depends on the day you go, but that's a story for another day. And I rhymed it. Killer Chansey, thank you for the 10 bits. Guys are meeting. Oh, Sierra, purple brawler. Want to spar? When you're done, I'll let you know the meaning of consistency. On guard. <laughs> I had something to tell you, Bosco, after the stream is off, by the way. Oh, I don't know if I mentioned it to you. Is it good news or bad news? It's my life is a nightmare. Oh, no. <laughs> well, we'll get it's into life that. It's relentless news. Monty, no. I have this couch. Uh, Would you like to lay back? <laughs> it's not bad. It's just oh. crazy. All right. Dice Ruler, thank you for the four bits. Uh, can leap 70 feet, can grow large in size, has three different axes. It's Gaius. Sorry, I burped mid sentence. Do -do 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 that's Gaius. Killer Chansey, thank you for the uh, 10 bits. Alternatively, I heard you're a fan of sweets. You know I do run a cafe. Thanks, but in my castle, I have my own dedicated pastry chef. I beg your pardon, in your what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of built different. <laughs> I, I am him. <laughs> uh, Protoss103, thank you for the five bits. Gateway is better when merch. <laughs> wow. <laughs> as soon as I'm cleared. Listen. You know. You know. When you when you, when you have a campaign that's in the crap sack world with a map that you traverse in slowly with random encounters and random weather. Uh you you've you got campaigns like that and uh and then you've got the unexpectables too. <laughs> I'm not saying you copied Gateway or anything, but, uh, you know. Volk551, thank you for the 100 bits. What's your plan? <laughs> Wait. Otho, what's your plan? Well, first, I plan to soil myself, regroup, and form a new plan. I don't want to be downwind uh of this plan. Mm. I don't or want to be upwind of this plan. I can't hear you. I'm 70 feet in the air. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking he's like He's like slowly ascending. <laughs> it's just, it's Hi, guys. The, I'm on the roof. It's the Heimlich as a butterfly scene. You all look like little It's just Sonic on a spring. Just boing, boing, boing. I imagine we're just talking one day. Gaius gets bored. So what do you think about this, Mr. Rec? Where'd he go? <laughs> Uh, I am on the same here. <laughs> Dude, my fucking drop kick's gonna be enormous. Did you just, did you just jump 140 feet in the air? <laughs> and then drop kick that man. Dive the fuck? Oh, bro, my dive kick. Dive kick. Dive. 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 Where are you Zito. getting 70 from? I'm a little Zito, confused you can by just the 70 dive, number. Bro. 
<laughs> we'll figure it out a different day. We'll figure yeah. it out, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's, based, it's based on the long jump. We'll figure it out next time on The Unexpectables, because that was the last bit true. Who do we want to raid? I see Caitlyn. Playing Power I also Wash see Simulator. Playing uh, Power yeah. Simulator. Sure, you let's do it. Caitlyn? Sure, yeah. I think you're right, Caitlyn. What should our raid message be? Long, Long live Eason Vale. Eason vale. All right. Yeah. Vale. Uh, zero's in her name, right? Yeah. By the way, I just got to say props for that scene, Connor. That was amazing. Yeah, that was well yeah. done. That was really cool that you did that. Yeah. All right. Boost me, Balrog. Long live Eason Vale. Go! Get out of here. <laughs> Shit.